God, it's Friday. The new day for real talk. So join Daddy Rude and Lady Cleo on a Friday night, 9 to 12, for real talk. The show where we discuss all that's real and nothing ideal. Only on Styles FM. Yes, yes, yes. Good night, everybody, and welcome to Real Talk. And of course, I can tell you, you heard the song earlier, You've Been On My Mind, yeah, by Adele. I can't tell you something. Yeah, man, you and you and you out there in Radio Land, you've been on our minds, yeah? Because we know that when, it's come, when it comes on to Real Talk, you guys will be tuning in and watching and listening and all of these things. So we want to say welcome to the show tonight. And guess what? It's Girl Power Night again tonight. <laughs> we have, of course, Shelly in studio and yours truly, Lady Clea, holding down the fort for tonight. Yay. We get rid of Daddy Rude, right? Girl Power Friday. Yeah, Girl yeah, Power we Friday. Get of, we get rid of Daddy Rude. We can't. Yeah, for Too a, much for a man, moment. Just just... Yeah, so my hands can rest tonight because <laughs> I don't need to clap, Shelly. No, no, no. Nah. No. Mm -mm. <laughs> So Daddy Rude, pick up yourself, yeah? I know he's smiling his face off right about now. Can you come back, yeah? We're, we're good without it. You can't <laughs> We can't talk like you right now <laughs> still. <laughs> oh, boy. And I come here and him, um, I don't to run in. I went today or yesterday. Or, I think of this man and you know, so. But kind of want to say it, but I'm not too long to say it because, you know? Yeah. I might go sorry later on, so. Daddy Rude. Pick up yourself. Pick up yourself every time. And, of course. Course, we are indeed um, happy that all you guys are on board with us. Our engineer for tonight is Cassidy, the silent assassin. And I can tell you something, too, that he is most highly blessed and favored to be in the company of two beautiful know, African right? princesses. Don't right, Cassidy? Cassidy? Say amen, brother. <laughs> <laughs> of course, he endorsed better that readily. In better. In better. <laughs> So, all our people out there in Radio Land, if you are in the farthest parts of the world right now, if you're overseas, we want to say welcome to the show. You know, you're always, always welcome, all our peeps overseas. And we want to say welcome to our friends here in Jamaica as well. Those in St. Mary, we want to big you up. Of course, remember Fan Fusion coming up, you know, St. Mary people, St. Thomas people, you know, who remember we just started listening, getting frequency and stuff. I think it was since this, it was this year. Yeah, uh, I think we were on late. Yeah, we were yeah, on last year, about, year. Last year. Last year about this so, time. So, St. Thomas yeah. Peeps, yeah, who have never been to Fan Fusion, you know it's coming up, of course, July 7. All the people who are across the length and breadth of Jamaica, elsewhere in Jamaica, and you're watching the show tonight or any other night that you've watched the show, we're, we're inviting you all to Fan Fusion, our very own um, St. Anne Peeps, our, our very own Portland people. Um, we, we extending a very, very warm invitation to you as well to Fan Fusion. And of course, we'll tell you more about that later on. But just to say welcome as well to the show, I want to give some shout outs to some taxi drivers from Wayne Road, yes, who traverse that route to and from school in the mornings, yeah, man, and in the afternoons. Big ups to the taxi drivers. I can't remember the names, so I won't start <laughs> with names right now. And of course, um, some other persons will get them big ups as we go throughout the show. Big ups to Milton, who ensures that I get here and get here on time on uh, Friday nights. And of course, big ups to Pitbull, my dog, my regular usual as well. All right. So right now we're going to go into some in-house matters and we are going to be telling you those numbers to hook us up. And of course, giving um, you those worldwide web <laughs> sites as well all right so if it is that you are in jamaica and you wish to call us tonight that number is four five three one triple four that's four five three one triple four and that's the same number you use for regular whatsapp text messaging only all right and if you're overseas, that number is 954-338-7973. That's 954-338-7973. Overseas number, and we also have some on the go numbers for the USA, Canada, and the UK. So, if it is that you are in either of those parts of the world and you wish to listen into the show, 
you can check us also um, on, well, there are those numbers. All right, so the UK, the U USA rather, number is 712-832-2772. That's 712-832-2772. In the UK, it's 033-0010-33322. That's 033-0010-33322. And in Canada, <coughs> sorry, it's 647-957-9637. That's 647-957-9637. And for those of you who watch and listen via the World Wide Web, we want to tell you those sites that you can check us out on. Yeah. So right now to watch the show live, you go to FB, Facebook, and check out Styles FM. Check out Styles FM 96.1. Go to the fan page and you'll be able to view the show. All right. That's for the Facebook people. And if it is that you oh you are a Twitter person, you check out Styles FM nine six one, right? And Instagram, you can follow us at Styles FM. And to see tonight's post show and previously held shows, you check out YouTube and you go to Styles FM Radio. Otherwise, you can also download either of two apps, Styles FM Radio or Styles FM Jamaica. Mm -hmm. And make sure those apps are on your phone so you can tune in and listen to your favorite show or all the shows that you choose to listen to. All right? So there you have it. And, of course, big ups to those in Brooklyn and, of course, the Bronx. In Brooklyn, it's 91.3 on the FM. And in Bronx, 102.9. I got that right, Cassidy? 102.9 FM. Yep. All righty. Um... Have I left any important house matter <laughs> out? I don't think so. All right. So, of course, some shout outs. Quick, 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 quick to Karee over there in Canada. And, of course, um, big ups to Miss Audrey Johnson. Mrs. Audrey Johnson from Soho in St. Thomas. That's you go to so Seaforth in Soho. And, yes, that's where she is. So, big ups, Miss Johnson. And... Also, big ups going out to Donna from, I think it's Bread Lane in Port Antonio, Portland. Your yeah, man tuning in. She says she's in her bed and cock up foot in her. She's in her hobby, you know. And listen and smile, you know. Your yeah, man. So, Donna and the family, big up yourself right about now. I, I think I have Bread Lane. That's, that's before you reached the bridge in Breastwork, right? I'm not certain. Yeah, yeah man, I I'm think I'm not so. certain where. I think where that's in the lane, Bread Lane. But I hope I breast, get the lane I know, right. I know it's, it's in <laughs> Breastwork, but you know, because mm -hmm. there was some discrepancy with where Breastwork starts and where and it ends. Where it ends, so. all right. But I think I got I the name know. right, Bread Lane. There. Yeah, I know there's a Bread Lane. Mm -hmm. But where? So, not big so ups sure. to you as well, all right? And of course, I want to say condolence to. to um, some persons in Whitehall, St. Thomas, Clooney to be exact. Um, baby Love, Miss Ivy. Uh, baby Love, Ivy, and Wrong Move. I don't know why you got, you got that <laughs> name. <laughs> but of course, they um, had their, their father passed away. So of course, condolence to the entire family, and the family by extension, and the friends um, of the family, and the friends of the deceased. All right? So all the very best to you. Of course, he went by the name, the alias clan. I didn't get the real name, but persons would know who exactly it is. All right, so keep the faith and be strong and supportive of each other as you go through this very rough time and, you know, um, sorrowful time. All right. Um, yeah, so we want to also say big ups to all my friends overseas who are always texting in. Um, and I see some persons coming in right now to Andy, um, uh, Raquel, yeah, um, Lisa, uh-huh, in Atlanta Reshins, and Peter, Diane as well. Peter, 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 um, Peter owns, a, um, a car. Mart? He, no, he owns, a, he does, um, he has a bar and, uh, a tire shop in St. Port Marant. Port Marant, yeah. okay. So big ups to Peter. All right, big Jody ups. big up yourself. And uh, big ups. Jackie. Jackie? She works at the Port Antonio Hospital. I heard that she is not so, doing so well. So well, all right. So, so our prayers 
Yeah. Up for Jackie right yeah. now, yeah. No, oh, no hold on, Reno, Bula man, you know, listen, Styles FM. Night, Shelly and Daddy yeah. Road. Okay, clear, I, clear I, your I, voice I, cannot I, hide. Bula I, man, clear your voice can't hide. Hold on, I wish I'd always thought like Daddy Road. The thing is, we don't normally come on. Oh, so once they hear my voice, once they hear you, they think it's with Daddy Road. No. We oh get Lord! This time, he, I think he's. I think he's correcting his text just now oh as we speak. Uh, <laughs> yeah, poor thing. Just checking in. Yeah, man. Oh. We understand. We understand. Oh <laughs> All right. So some big ups also to Diane and of course Celia. Some avid listeners to the show. Um, Metalia you know, so Truman, Mel, Mel, Mel over there, in oh um, Mel over there, Mel and Rochelle over there in New York. Mm. Yep, Boy, and of course. Know. M I can't leave up Vivian, you know, because Vivian always locked in, you know, like Vivian. seriously. Okay. Vivian, your yeah, man Donna from Atlanta and Donna of course, from Florida. She Donna yeah. from Florida. And yeah. of course, yeah, Javine, we see you. All right. long, long, long regular, time. regular, regular, regular <laughs> styles are. And of course, yeah. Sivan McPherson in the UK, keeping it locked as well and promoting Styles FM. We want to big you up too. All right. All right, so now Fan Fusion, before we go any further, people, Fan Fusion is coming no, up. Clear. You can't stay it alone. You're from, okay, <laughs> so, so let's, let's, let's do okay, this again. One, two. two. Fan Fusion! Yes. Yeah, girl power style, yep. of course. And guess what? It's July 7, 2018. You can't afford to miss it. Everybody everywhere planning to go to Fan Fusion. All right, and of course, you know, it's a Styles FM party. It's the event of the year where the Styles FM peeps will get the chance, and our, of course, our listeners, yeah, will get the chance to just interact and wine and dine and greet and meet and all these things. So, people coming from far and wide to be at Fan Fusion. <laughs> Boss, it promises it's going uh, to be spectacular. Oh, yes, it's going to be. It is going to be spectacular. What, uh, Tipsy Island, Tipsy Island right? baby. And, and you of know course, the dress code all the time. Yeah, it's, tropically you know, like elegant. elegant yes. Shelly will be there doing her mixology oh, stuff. Ah, the bar, the bar, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mixed intoxication, so oh, you know yeah. what it is. Yeah, yeah. So. yeah. And it's a retro party, of oh, yes. course. Daddy Rude would say, <laughs> if he can say 21 and older. Yeah. But of course, once you're an adult... You're invited, and if you know retro or you want to learn about retro or Get love there. retro, be, be at Fan Fusion, right? Yeah. It's yeah. not the <laughs> regular event no, where you appear, no, boogie yaga, boogie no, no, yaga, no, kind no, of something, no, something it's from, one of those. Or you can't even hear the words. It's, it's one of them upscale event, yeah. affordable. Right. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. so the, the admission is affordable, but it's upscale. Yeah, All right? so it's, uh, yeah. let me get this right now. 500 pre-sold, right? seven at the gate with your flyer, and $800, $800 without, your without flyer. the flyer. Right. All right. And VIP is 2500 And yep. VIP is going to be lit because you're going to get your server. And, you know, <laughs> you're, yeah, you're going to get your server. Right. And you'll get your um, tokens to claim your meal and your drink. So yep. that's where that's going to be. And it's going to be at the Bayview Waterfront, waterfront property. Waterfront property, right? Right, right, right. after you pass the castle, castle. on the left, right. that complex right there, you can't right. miss you it. You can't miss it. Right across right. from Bayview Villas. So. Yeah. Yeah, uh, right across there. Bay, you can't miss it. And, and of course, on that night, Stars FM banners will be there and it will be lit. So yeah. you can't miss it. Can't miss it. Yeah. And remember, too, that you can book your reservations at um, Bayview Villas and uh, Spa. <laughs> so make sure yeah, you... There's a special at Bayview. Yes, right. for accommodations. Friends. If you're so, coming in with your friends and your family... For Fan Fusion, Fusion. Yeah, you can have always rates. have special rates and, of course, book your rooms. And, you know, they have double, triple um, occupan occupancy um, at Bayview. All right? Um, All right, we tell you. Um, more about the contact for Bayview Villas as we go through. Right, right. All right, did we find there it quickly? Mm -hmm. All right. So, of course, if you want to do your booking, yeah, 993-3118. That's 993-3118. 3118 and ensure that you book early. It's Bayview Eco Resort and Spa, rather. 
Bayview Eco Resort and Spa. Summer rates for fan fusion patrons. Only. So standard <laughs> or double room, you have US $95. Superior triple, US 118 And suites, su suites um, uh, US 130 yeah, and All the prices right. include DCT See, and right a continental, continental breakfast. So you can't, right. you can't lose. No, if you that's, check that's out more than reasonable. That deal. All right, there you have it. And can I tell you, I can't wait. I don't know what I'm wearing yet, but I can't wait for July seven. It's intriguingly exciting for me and i'm sure for shelly and for all Cleo, the... you know exciting for me one of the year may i go tell you i'm going on vacation and and the show up just to enjoy myself oh lord <laughs> have mercy look okay. here all the time sometimes i sorry for daddy road when i tell you a lie because you see all right i'm sorry for the coup when fan fusion is over because it takes a whole heap of work to get it done oh, yeah. and then when it is over that's it's like double the work <laughs> that you put in. They, oh, they yeah. always light us at the event uh -huh. and sometimes we don't leave until about 10, 11 o'clock in the morning when oh, we have to finish Lord. up everything. everything. So, yep. yep. Um, we'll come back. Oh, yeah. It's now 9.30, people. So we take our first break. The time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services and Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting. Stick and stay. We'll soon come. This is Styles FM. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more more information call VJ Printing at 893-2266. Planning a party, club night out, stage show, a gospel concert, or even a business sales event? Let Styles FM be a part of your promoting tool. Take advantage of our low price promotion packages with commercials, interviews, giveaways, reviews, and much more. We have special offers when you mix and match and bundle your options. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Styles FM for the most effective way to exploit your marketing dollar. Babes, just follow me now. Right over there, sir. Through that hole there. But babes, be curious if you go in. The place too dark. Just right over there, sir. Right over where the hole there. Aye, chum man. All mosquitoes bite me. Babes, me no like. Come on, them places after dark, you know. So wait. Are they like a bat them afraid of? Chum man, we almost reach. <laughs> and them something that me care about that with you, know. That's why we make sure we walk with our Bible. You think they're going to make rolling cars reach me like last year? Kiss me brown for all them people here. All the places are so crowded. And when they fan fusion. Fan fusion episode 5. Tipsy Islands. Saturday, July 7th, starting at 7 p.m. sharp at the Bayview Waterfront property, Oysters Bay, Port Antonio. Be there. Who said that woman can't do it? And them said the woman don't come to do it. Whoa, 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 yeah. I missed that when get up. This is Jatty, the Reggae Ambassador. Join me this and every Saturday from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. Right here in Styles FM 96.1, 96.5, 96.7 for the Tony Larvan Show in style on style. We're going to eat you off that G spot at 3 o'clock. We've got the Collector's Edition with Twin Spin. Inside Music Biz with Teddy Ledley. Nuff, nuff, niceness. Right here in Styles FM. This and every Saturday from 1 p.m. until 5 p.m. You got it? Remember Styles FM on social media. View us on YouTube at Styles FM Radio. Follow us on Instagram at Styles FM. Like us on Twitter at Styles FM 961. Become a fan on Facebook. Styles FM 96.1. 
native audio and equipment rental services, now offering stage lighting and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, play, wedding, street party, or even club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native audio and equipment rental services, proud sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Yes, welcome back to Real Talk. But tonight, instead of Daddy Rude, we have Shelly in, in the building. And of course, this is the voice of Lady Cleo. In case you're wondering who this <laughs> is with Shelly. Yeah, man, it's Lady oh, you're Cleo. you're wondering with Cleo. Is Shelly here? Yeah? <laughs> All right, so no Daddy Rude and Prestige. So, there, yeah. yeah, no Prestige tonight, guys. Teresa, <laughs> you'll hear Mr. Smoothick on Tuesday, Tuesday yeah. night, 9 o'clock. Okay? Yeah. So tonight it's no Monday. Monday, Monday, Monday in the morning. Right. Prestige and Sandro, right? Yeah. So it's Shelley and, and Cleo. Lady Cleo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. And we do All have right. a call well, early. Uh, Let's hear the call from the nine five four. Good, good night, caller. Welcome to the show. Greetings. Hi. Who is that? Dan Dan. Dan Dan. Yeah. We have to show. Can I tell you something, Dan Dan? <laughs> my, my mom hey, asked. My mom asked, "Where Dandan come from?" So I was like, "Which Dandan?" Because I didn't know that she know you. And I said, "Which Dandan?" Because I know two persons by the name Dandan. I said, "Is that Dandan from Saint Thomas?" No, you know, you know what I'm saying. So I was like, "Oh, she know." Never mind. I said, "Oh, she know Dandan." And she said, "Yes, Dandan." I said, "Which Dandan, mommy?" And she's like. Oh, listen to the calls and I listen to the show. I said, Oh, you know Dan Dan? Yes, he's always troubling you. Oh. <laughs> so if, if my mother know you. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> How are you, sir? Good, good. Hey, me, me at the beginning of the program, I big up stars up from taxi drivers, is it? Yes. Which which brings to mind, couple, when I was down there, couple, uh, one day my drive and bomb broken up. Mm-hmm. Between from Bombrook go or the Carla Park, yes, and from that then the good time then I was driving non stop. Mm -hmm. You know, say, me not count how much tax, how much taxi, how much taxi, me see, my pass. <laughs> okay. You know, say, my pass in the town, like more than 75 taxes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, not possible. No, no, listen to me now, you know. Mm -hmm. And 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 these were these these were these would would exclude the taxes who who would would depend Summerstone Road or Wayne Road or Brown mm -hmm. or so. So, I say, and so I say in another another five minute period, you know, mm -hmm. seventy five taxes me count up around you know, mm -hmm. which which would tell me tell me say probably yeah probably you have, you have maybe as much as five hundred taxes registered to supply some in around you know. Wow. Wow. That's amazing. Intriguingly so. Wow. You are talking about the ones who are legalized though? Which ones are you talking about? All of them? Well, the, <laughs> the ones that I recognize with that has a red plate. Okay. So, wow. So that number could be very much bigger then. Yeah, so it's, it's on a red it's on a red plate with a count alone. Oh. Mm. <clears throat> wow. No, I, I you know, I was totally, totally amused. Mm-hmm. Is there more taxi which, than people, right? Traveling. <laughs> which, which, which now brings in, in the focus why, why, why I hardly see anyone walking the street of, um, in a poor Antonio outside of downtown. Yeah, but, and, and the thing too, Dan Dan, the average person, the average person is just not walking, no matter how short the distance yeah. is. Even the kids going to if school, you, they're not walking from in the town to Titchfield, for example. Or to Port Antonio High, they're not walking. So I, I, I that messy. Yeah, they're not walking. <laughs> you know, you know, you know, somebody I walk on the road like Folly Road, uh, Prospect. Mm. One you or know, two somebody persons might see strolling. Nobody not walk the road. Them road there. No, hardly ever. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Wow. So I guess the taxi drivers are are happy that they don't walk. Because <laughs> it's a hundred dollars <laughs> from. From um, say Carter Park to Folly, for example, that's a hundred dollars. Mm. Yeah, the shortest distance is a hundred dollars. Mm. Yep. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Wow. But food off to eat, right? So. 
Why, Charles? I'm, 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 I miss, I miss seeing you, Charles. Oh, go your ways. You didn't even remember me when you didn't come. You didn't even remember that I was here when you came. You were having Charles, too much me. fun. Me, 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 me drive, me drive up the whole town on smart, smart road and East Palm Avenue. Really? Here, looking you know? for her? <laughs> really? You weren't looking for me because I live somewhere in that vicinity. <laughs> who are you looking uh, for, Dan Dan? Yeah, so who were you looking for? All right, then. next time. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> All right, Dan Dan. You play the fifth to you, play the fifth. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dan Dan, keep it right, later. later on. All right. All right, so um, All right. let me big up a few people. Uh, big up Kadeen, quick and fast. Hey, Handy, big up itself. Soja locked in. Jody from New Jersey. Um, Andy, yeah, go on, big up yourself. Yeah, anybody else who locked in to my WhatsApp? Yep. Mm-hmm. What if it was a listen? All right, so of course, Kevin in Tampa, Florida. And as I see Tampa, Florida, big up yourself, Kevin, hey, always Kevin, locked. Up. Yes, thank you so much, sir, for the compliment. Yeah. Yep. All right, um, and big ups to Shelly as well from Kevin. Now, there's an issue that, that, that dawned on me. It's, it's really, really, it hit me. It struck me because I love, I love the traveling idea. <laughs> and not love Shelly. I love the traveling thing, bad, 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 yeah? And I learned that there was a mishap on a Southwest airline. Yes. Where... Um, unfortunately, a mother of, I think it's either two or one, a mother um, was sucked through the window. Um, unfortunately, she, that accident was a fatal one for mm-hmm. her. Um, they tried, passengers tried pulling her in. I'm not sure at which point the engine blew, blew if it was while landing or, oh, oh. I, I'm not sure at what point, but I just learned, I know that she didn't make it my thing is um what happens when, when we do this signing up when we, we go in and we <laughs> set up the document to say where we're coming from address where we're going yada 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 um i don't remember seeing the fine print as it's that states what in the event that you were to you know lose your life mm. or experience severe injury or whatever what will come of it I don't know if, what policy is in place. I would love for somebody to tell me what the policy is in the event that persons... And I, I know they'll oh. compensate. I think yeah, they'll compensate. Usually they'll compensate. I don't know if it's via suing or whatever. If a person have to go to that route. Well, probably they would <coughs> offer. Hello? You know? Yes. Hello? Have a caller on the 954. Good night, caller. Hi, it's Jody. Hey, Jody. Hi, Kelly. Hi. Hi. Hi, good night. Welcome to the show. Thank you. No, my ear not talk to my call to actually tell you what happened with the plane. Yes. Thank you. So, it's Southwest um, Airlines. Yes. And what happened was the engine blew at, I think, 40,000 feet in the air. What? And um, oh my God. I think it was a, a piece, like a, a metal piece that fell off from the engine. Mm-hmm actually flew up and bounced on the window and broke the window and it sucked her through halfway. Oh. oh. And seven passengers were trying to pull her through. Wow. But at that time, half of her body was already outside of the plane, yeah. meaning from her waist up to her head was outside of the plane. Oh. But God. while they were pulling her through, I think her body was, you know, getting cut up by the glass oh. from the window. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But the thing is that if, if that woman wasn't stuck through the window, so many people would have been stuck through. Yeah. So she kind of like stopped the, 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 the air. Yeah. I guess, or, or whatever it is to suck everybody through. Mm-hmm. So what happened is um, the pilot, she actually did an emergency landing in Philadelphia mm-hmm. where they rushed her to the hospital and she, she died in Philadelphia. Wow. So in addition to that, this woman was, I think, the executive um, Wells Fargo community. She was something for the community. I think executive community something mm-hmm. for, for Wells Fargo. Yeah. Yes. It's like a really big bank here. Yeah, yeah. yeah I know. So to me, that was like a freak accident. That was just so weird how somebody passed away like that. Yes, that very exactly. Weird. Very, very weird. But no, everybody is taking into consideration the window seat. 
as me book my ticket Miss and tell it to me and come at the airline and tell them, listen, give me an aisle seat because I don't want there the window. Look here, pretty lady, <laughs> lovely lady. I've always, up until the point of hearing that story, <laughs> wanted a window seat. I have always mm -hmm. wanted the window seat, my love. Me never know say my mind could have changed in a split second, so because now I just have it true. Exactly. Me no want no more window seat for true. Put me under the passage of grung as fast me on the grung. Me no know, but don't put me on the window at all again. <laughs> it's it's sad, really sad. But even now, you know when you when you go on the plane, you're so excited. Yes. You don't really pay attention to how them them demonstrate. It's you know, true, you know, and and, uh, this and that. True. And no, me go pay attention. True, yes, true, sweetheart. Like May I tell you? Everybody. It's true because yeah. I, I, I was even watching, um, I think it was one of the Miami channels this morning. And mm -hmm. they were saying people really do not pay attention to the instructions of the flight attendants. And it's so true. We tend to be on our phones trying to send the last message out to whoever, whomever. Or, you know, finding something else to fidget about and not listening right. to or even watching the video that they have showing us how to, you know, put on the, the, the mask true. and all of these things. So we, we really need to, 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 to take heed. And, and, it, and it's true because me, every time I'm going to Jamaica or whatever it is, Canada, I'm <laughs> so excited and sometimes afraid me not even want, you know what I'm saying, me not really catch myself so I'm not pay attention or anything like that. But I'm telling you, this incident is like a wake up call. Wake up call, my love. And the thing is that I think it happened fifty one years ago in the same airline. Yeah. Oh really? So, yeah, this is like a fifty one year apart um, Oh, incident. super yeah. sad. But something all wrong with salt with. What I tell people not fly with salt Oh with. Jesus have mercy. Always something with them. <laughs> But uh, that was that was what I wanted to tell you. Thank you so All much, right? my dear, for the clarity and the clarification. Right, Appreciate Jody. it. Thank You're you. Welcome. All right, Jojo, mm -hmm. catch you. Good night. Good night, good night, darling. All right, so there we have it. Still super, super sad. And mm -hmm. condolence to the family of that lovely lady, um, her husband, her immediate family, her extended family, her friends. Um, we really, really just want to say on the prayers be with you as you really, really try to grapple with this loss because trust me, it no, it doesn't come, come across very well at all. You can't fathom it, you know, such a freak, freak, freaked out way of dying. It's, it's sad. They're saying it's another passenger that actually like when they pull her through, mm -hmm. he stood with his back to the, the, the hole, mm -hmm. to the window. Right, so that, so that no, it couldn't suck nobody anybody else, else through. So. That's high. That's, it, that's good yeah, attitude. He did it for like ten and fifteen minutes or something like that, or nearly almost twenty minutes. He stood there with his because he was it. probably bigger in big in body yeah, or so, something. Yeah, he couldn't so. go through. And because how much was sitting? Could be, <laughs> me gonna go through. Me not gonna window. Daddy rule. Me sorry for you. Daddy rule. Oh, you're so, coming back. <laughs> so I saw we see fly. <laughs> oh, no scare, no scare. No scare. And Daddy rule says, of it's, course. It has been what more than fifty years. She said fifty-one. So, yeah. So you don't have to worry. You won't happen again until the next year. Oh, here she so no. Yeah, here she no, people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. So just chill. Daddy would say, a window, a <laughs> island, island fly. So, so we'll try to go on a window. window. So you know that. So we're going to go on the plane now. And oh, whoever God. take over window seat, I'm going to say, you can't keep it, my love. Keep yeah. it, keep it. You're going to give me back. Yeah, nobody won't be fighting for no more windows. You'll be fighting for no more window window seat. <laughs> seat. Charm, of course, um, alludes that she too want the aisle. And yeah. Strap me to the aisle, aisle, aisle. The real, real aisle where you're walking, huh? But clear, <laughs> in you real life, it so don't matter. <laughs> in real life, if the plane is going down, it don't matter where you are. So don't. We are talking about we are talking about suction window, my girl. We are talking about no go down, nothing. A window we are talking about. Yeah, yeah, my head start get swell up now. Nobody excuse. Neve. Ashley and Sandra. Ashley and Sandra. No, this is serious. This is serious. Styles is not them drunk. So first it was Shelly <laughs> and Daddy, Daddy Rude. Then it was Shelly and Prestige. Prestige. Now it's Shelly and, and Sandra. Sandra. 
This is serious. Yeah, I know. Is there anybody who knows that this is Lady Cleo? Okay. How did I mix you up? Just because they're here, remember I they assume that nobody, it must oh, be there somebody else. Boy. Cleo, Cleo is here, people. Listen to the voice. Oh. She's live and in living color. <laughs> yeah, if you want to prove it, just go to Styles <laughs> FM Facebook page and you'll see. No daddy rude, no who prestige, they, no Sandra. Who will they say next? Chucky? <laughs> You're gonna hear uh, good night, Shelly and Chuggy later on. I'm sure of Look it. Look here, we're gonna wake up here. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> These people sleeping. I wanna sell the size of them is something else. No man. Not real life. Oh, or maybe you're gonna hear um Dr. Ma Iman. Iman or somebody. They're gonna choose Mark, somebody else. Um Coach Mark. <laughs> Hi coach. Mark, how you doing? Good big yeah, up it's yourself. Been a while. Yeah, big ups oh, to you. you wanna see him something else? Oh boy. All right, so from one side note to a more present note tonight, um, we are going to be looking at our Vox Pop. By the way, what's been happening with you? Everything and nothing. <laughs> Everything and nothing. <laughs> Everything and nothing. Oh, All right, man. Oh, boy. So you had a good week? Um, except for that road has stressed me. Oh, <laughs> Lord. That road stop stressing out, Shelly. Look here, we have to tell people about this, man. This man, he <laughs> was sleep in a fiend bed and wake up at 2, 3 o'clock. And if something click in his head, uh -huh. message, email. <laughs> <laughs> so if you go in bed, go sleep and leave yeah, alone. Yeah, go in bed and sleep the whole night and stop get up, man. Yeah, but, man. But you... good. I guess fan fusion, wellness sphere, there's a lot of things going on. Yeah. Okay. Because the wellness sphere is up and coming too, you know. It's right, right around the corner, corner. too. So, yeah. All right. Dealing plans for that. Everything else is good, man. All right, cool. And well, for me, the week has not been too bad either. Um, still, the migraine beat me. Like, let me for six, seven, eight, and nine. The whole week, today was the best of me. Um, it affected my job on Tuesday, Monday evening, man. afternoon, and Tuesday. But I am holding it down. I'm dropping in some exercise so that I can try to see if that will help. Because I think it can again. help. I yeah, think it I can read help. something they were talking about this migraine thing, you know, that they said can help. Aside from diet and like um your diet, your sleep, yeah, your diet, exercise, sleep and something. Exercise I think it was I was I was um reading up on some herbs mm -hmm. and they were talking about this particular a couple of particular herbs that actually help. Helps I with must it. go back and look. Oh yes, yes, nurse. Um, <laughs> yeah, um uh, I'll kind of kind of doing some you know, maybe I'm getting to the um because I'm trying to make my own oils. Okay, cool. Yeah, for my massage. So I am actually playing doing with research. some herbs and mm -hmm. I'm doing some research and finding out some things. I'm, I must go back and look. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> when I'm going to have man. You know, so you when you trouble as like, usual. Ciao. All right, so tonight our Vox Pop idea, uh, we look to our engineer to pop that up for us. And in the meantime... Oh, in Cleo. Time. Wait, yeah. Cleo. Remember, say, remember, say, we get one surprise a while ago, you know? We did? Yes. You know, see the fan fusion ticket them pop up a while ago? Oh, People, yes. You know, I want to see the fan fusion oh, ticket them. Yeah, you know, 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 you Remind you of the numbers to text us on the WhatsApp or regular text message. It's um, four five three one triple four. That's four five three one triple four. And if you're overseas, that number is nine five four three three eight seven nine seven three. And of course, Daddy Rude reminding us, yeah man, Tipsy Island, Saturday, July seven, Bayview Waterfront property. All right. Um, <clears throat> we go to the text messages in a few. So we're gonna give you the Vox Pop. For the night. All right, so here we go. Daddy, oh, not even Daddy. He's calling my name. He's calling my name, Cassidy. So here's the Vox Pop for tonight, people. It's a small world, a small, small world. If you were in a social setting with friends or with family, um, only to realize that your partner is well familiar with one of your friends or your family. As they are exes, how would you deal with a situation like that, or how would you deal with such a revelation? So you didn't know before, but there you are in this social setting, yeah, with your friends or with your family members, relatives, only to realize that your partner 
your woman, your man, is well familiar, well, well familiar, and chatting up and interacting and, you know, yeah, man, with someone else who happens to be a friend of yours or even a relative of yours. And you learn, you learn, you're just learning now that they are ex. They're my ex. <laughs> <laughs> How would you deal with such a revelation? What would you do, gentlemen? Eh? You're there having a grand time. Your lady is there with you. And you see her talking up to this young man. The young man happened to be your good, good version from long, 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 long time. Or your relative. Yeah, with a distant or near, near relative. <laughs> and you're like, so, oh, she know Tommy. Mm -hmm. And then you find that they're ex. It's her ex. Oh, Lord Jesus. We have a caller on the four five three. Hello, caller. Good night. Who, 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 who's girl? My girl? No. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I'm your girl. But the woman of your... No, no, no. The boy, the woman of your dreams. You love her to your heart, soul, mind, and body. Show your heart me beat know. right dream, now. Yeah. Yeah, woman, of, woman of my dream, I wake up. You have to wake up? Yeah, me, I wake up. <laughs> but guess what? My bridge. But you didn't know, and she didn't know that it was your brother in there for them long time either. She didn't know that you two were friends. Do what? That means that means that that means no. That means that no. My brother, no, no, my brother, no. Because you that must know. Say something, my guy, and I say yo. You know you have. You know you have friends, and you have friends. You have friends where your brother easy, no? Yeah, you're gone. Understand. Yes, and I like your close, close friend you talk to every day, but you know the person from your community or whatever, you know, a, a little, um, another community near to yours or something. No, 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 no community, do. <laughs> not the community. <laughs> no. But you know the person. We probably have go to school together. And we exchange words about football every now and again and all these things, yeah? All right. You see, you see, you see from my understanding, uh -huh. the, 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 the friend. Yes. The, X and the current and flirting and hugging and something. Mm -hmm. it's always best to cut it off right before work. If it's not social settings where everybody know you and you know everybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, just 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 gently, you know, politely, you know. But just say, um, you know something come back. Mm -hmm. I don't go back. I don't go back. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. so it goes for the female or for the males too. You know, say mm -hmm. females get away with a whole heap of stuff. Mm -hmm. it, is under, yeah, it is understandable that females will get away with whole heap of stuff. Mm -hmm. Because, believe it or not, we might, we might need to purchase and think that we have a lot of options yes. when we actually don't. I know, because right? Because if the girl just like you for a minute, she's going to like <laughs> you for a minute. If a girl <laughs> like you, like you, feed, you know, say dog just not your supper because you even look on this woman, you have to start looking on this woman because she like you, like you, then wear it. Uh -huh. she go, she, she's going to portray it. Right. Did we know, would we look a full full self? Would <laughs> <laughs> we would full look a full full self? Truth be told. We think say boy, all right then, boom, boom, we have only put options and we go down flirt and and get left. At the end of the day, we have somebody we can't even introduce to the mother. Mm. Yeah, that's that. I really think. Real talk. So, so so the girl would get her with it when when the man can't get her with it. So so tell me something. What if what if the person that yes you're chit chatting with happens to be your one could distant cousin one kind of way, like you know, one fourth cousin or fifth cousin, where are your mother, auntie, son, <laughs> picnic, yeah, son, something, something like that, you know? <laughs> and you found out that they, they were together at, at one point, but you never know. And you say, Yo, star, learn with this, I mean, a bridge in their cousin. Then, oh, in my mind, I talk up so. And when you check the flex, man, you would, them used to be together. What are you going to deal with that revelation? What are you going to do? Mm -hmm. Leave the woman. You see? You see, if there, you see, if there is a, 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 a what do I call it now, immense amount of flirting going on, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. then that is a problem. But if me know him and me know some of him wife and him very, very, then fine, they're my ex, no problem. But if he's in single, hey, problem. It's, 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 it's a scratch. Then true, true. Then you know, see how people out there who, who, who tell you not to still like a job. No, I understand that, man. But in a my in a my head, me yes. certain things differently. Okay, yeah. Aye. Because if if it's a public setting, and only for people, other people are gonna know if you wife, you know. So it must be in flirting, must be easy. Must be easy. I see what you're saying, yes. sir. Because much of the flirting go on right beside you when the woman having phone and really, really, you know. <laughs> but you see when you do right there, so 
you know. Okay, it, sir. It, it kinda, it, it, yes, the first thing kind of got easy right there, so. Okay, sir. Well, I like how this one out of your head for your call tonight. Quick, 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 quick. So keep it locked <laughs> and hear the other part of it and text in later on and call back later, all right? All right. All, all right, right, sir. Devoid, I normally call so early, <laughs> you know. No, sir. No, sir. Was a, my woman, no my woman. <laughs> hit him for six. No one the pinch him. All right. The other part of the question says, what would be your reaction if someone was to be hitting on or flirting with your partner right in front of you? And of course, Devoy alluded to that. Said the first thing I want, no, 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 no. I want to know, though, if a man saw where <clears throat> his partner was standing right there beside him or something, or a little distant away with her other friend or something, mm -hmm. and some other guy come along flirting with her. That, does it take two to flirt? If she's the, exactly. I was, does it take, I was just I waiting know for you to finish. I want to know if it takes two to flirt or one person exactly. can flirt. No, one person can flirt. So if he's there saying, <clears throat> why my girl, you're sweet, you know. It's going to take you away right now. You look so good. You're sexy. You're smelling good. Mm. And she's just like, <laughs> and is, is she flirting? She's just smiling at a compliment. She has never gotten a compliment before. It's like, wow, it's just hitting her. And she's feeling nice about herself. Yeah? Is she smiling? Daddy Rude, is that flirting? Is she flirting with the man who's giving her a compliment? If she stands there and don't say anything, don't run him, don't say, listen to me now, please leave me alone, I'm here with somebody. If she doesn't do that, and she doesn't respond any at all, doesn't give him any smile, no facial, nothing, is she flirting by not asking him to leave? Because at the same time, the man has yes. a freedom of choice to be where he wants to be. No, but I would move. It's my man well, is clear. we're going to hold that thought right there, Shelly. <laughs> and it's now 10 oh, o'clock. Yeah. And uh, the time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. And Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio, Stage and Lighting. Call up your friend. Call we soon come back. Architects, draftsmen and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at Eight nine three two two six six. Good day, driver. You notice that you're parking in a no parking zone. You know, so you can get a ticket for this, sir. Really, officer? But just want to pick up some hardware supplies, you know. Do me a beg you. Give me a blind, you know? So if you need hardware supplies, why you don't go to Ramtula Supercenter and hardware? Ramtula Supercenter and hardware, 34 Folly Road, Port Antonio, Portland. We stock a wide range of products at the best prices in town. At Ramtula's Hardware, experience the three C's. Comfort, competitive prices, and convenience. Ramtula Supercenter and hardware opens 8 a.m. to midnight seven days per week call 715-5132 email ramtula supercenter at gmail.com remember we have the best prices in town don't miss the adrenaline rush with the musical ingenious digital team Saturdays, right here on Styles FM from 4 to 8 p.m. Remember the uprising artists and new music segment from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Also, mix journal hour from 6 to 7 p.m. And the party hour from 7 to 8 Come, Styles FM. Digital T. Our brain. Look, huh? Planning a party? Club night out? Stage show, a gospel concert, or even a business sales event? Let Styles FM be a part of your promoting tool. Take advantage of our low price promotion packages with commercials, interviews, giveaways, reviews, and much more. We have special offers when you mix and match and bundle your options. Contact us at 876 286 9216 or 439 5160. Styles FM for the most effective way to exploit your marketing dollar. 
native audio and equipment rental services, now offering stage lighting and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, play, wedding, street party, or even club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native audio and equipment rental services, proud sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Thank you, Cassidy. Welcome back to Real Talk, the show where we discuss everything real and nothing ideal. And tonight you are listening to the sounds of Shelly and Lady Cleo. All right, so we are we were on our Vox Pop idea, and just in case you're just joining us, let me share that with you once more. It's a small, small world. If you are in a social setting with friends or family, only to realize that your partner is well familiar with one of your friends or family, as the both of them are exes, how would you deal with such a revelation? Mm. Or exodus. <laughs> we have a caller on 453. Good night, caller, and welcome to the show. Good night. Hi, Good night. how are you doing? Pardon me? Well, may I say me now? That doesn't right. It's in the same place. Not even a step. You're not going home with her? No, sir. But she, you, hold on the man. She never knows say, I did your friend. And your friend never knows she had your... She, well, she's now your girl now, but when they were friends back then, you never know and stuff like that. So why would you want to leave her for, for something that is in the past? Information for sure. So she must come and tell us that she used to talk to Tom Dick or Harry? Yes. But did you ask her? No, you Not never asked ask. her. So you mean, you mean she must come share? Would you tell her that you were with Mary Jane and Sue? Of course. Oh. So you're saying she's supposed to come and tell you straight up. Uh, you know, I used yes. to talk to um, Alex. And you say, oh, which Alex? <laughs> Alex wanted to live down a jungle gully. And same way. Okay. Well, I don't know if many persons would volunteer information like that, you know. People probably would go with what they are prompt to, to, to say. So if you ask her, maybe she might tell you persons she might used to talk to before and some persons won't tell you everything. So And um, the second part of the question eh. that's even worse. The part of what's around? What's around So what what do you what do you say? What what would she need to be doing, or what what would she need to not do for you to say, okay, you know what, she wasn't flirting. Is she just stand up there and not responding, not talking back to Flirt the person? Flirting away. How oh, comes? It's what around the run. She was around the boy. Run the man. Run. Guess what? Oh, a f she's in a free space, don't it? And the man is in a free she's space. A she's in a public man, space. Yes, yes. <laughs> The man go on me there, so my man and it done. Simple, not knowing and attacking, not even look. My youth, if she smile back with the man, I even look too interesting. Me agree, say so if I go home, left her. Man, you know, you but, but, but Carla, you don't know what the man is saying to her. It could be something social. It could be something about a joke. You don't have to be nothing personal and intimate. You can't stay far off and know, say, I flirt him, I flirt with her from, from a distance. You don't know what they're talking about, so you mustn't judge it already, Lima Yot. Eh, funny for me, still look laughing, I'm going to flirt in my dun. Funny, still look laughing, I'm going. So tell me something now. You have history with this lady. You love her dearly. Probably a little youth in the picture. I'm going to start building things together and start putting a little room together and all these things. I'm going to walk away and lift the woman just so because you see her talk to one brother where I'm to be your friend or your, or your family. And they, they were together some uh, five, ten years ago. They were together and you're going to walk away for and gone, my youth. Seriously? Yeah, man. Yeah, I'm going to join them policy. I'm going to policy there. <laughs> all right, sir. I'm just serious. <laughs> Well, thank you very much for your input, sir. Real talk. Keep it real, yeah? All right. <laughs> All right. And there are some persons who will tell you, you know, when I'm in a situation, it's a whole different ball game. And looking on, I'll speak now that boy, I would have never mind. do this. But I, mean, I don't know. I know my mind. I mean, uh, me see no girl a flood for it and he might look too interested. Me gone. You gone too? Yeah, man. I tell but him gone, say, meaning gone. Gone. Are you leave. gone? You're left Yeah, him. man. Me just tell him say, I want the key. 
People go chill. <laughs> and when they come out, they just see people. Uh-huh. Gone. The Nisha in St. Thomas, lethal to be exact, says, oh, Old right. fire stick, <laughs> easy <laughs> to catch. Serious thing, you know. Serious thing. For some people. For some people. Uh, Raquel from Wilmington, say, w- Wilmington, yes, in, in St. Thomas, says, that man ate chip. Hold on, hold on. What Kevin has said? <laughs> <laughs> hold on, let's take this call on the 954 first. Good night, hey, caller. Hey, Jody. Yeah, I'll call back, but okay. um, before I get Jody, so now I will get the, um, the bad side. We'll get JJ, you know. So, <laughs> I'm going to wait for the mix up start, but anyways. <laughs> So, um, when it does me, I get the topic right, but when I say, if me, they would have mine, I would go somewhere. Mm-hmm. I wish, and wish, well, I see someone that I know, but you never know, say, him know the person too? Is that what you're saying? Yes, and him and the person happen to have been, um, ex, they are exes, but it could, it could be your friend or a relative of yours, some distant relative, and you did not know that they were friends, and you see them chit-chatting up together. And you discover What's right there, right say, these two people used to be together. Your man now and this girl who you are for noir are related to her. She and this man used to be together. Are you going to deal with that information? Um, I know somebody that got married to somebody that I dated. Me know she, but she never knows me and the guy that asked. Mm-hmm. And me and her are friends. And mm-hmm. she never know that. Wow. But the man tell her. Uh-huh. But guess what? Him come to me with the with the flirting, but me no flirt back because I'm married. Yes. So, and even if him never married, I wouldn't do that because I'm not that type of person. Yeah. But just to say, her outcome was um, she see that I'm very respectful of her relationship. So she she not worry about that, but she have issues with other females. That's the problem. Oh. But me personally... If me and somebody had date for a little while, let's say two months or three months, I would go out and that happen, whatever. Me can't cut and go about my business and can't go about team business. But you see, if I smudge me attack for like 10, 20 years, mm-hmm. and I didn't put my V card, best believe me, I drive out by my ears. Hold on. I drive out by my ears. But now we have no 10, 20 years, and you come and flirt with somebody. You must be mad. Uh-huh. It's either you're going to leave by your ears or a rope. I don't know. Uh-huh. <laughs> I like it. And it's true. Because if you don't respect me enough, right? Mm-hmm. I turn up right here and you flirt with somebody over this song. Mm-hmm. It come like him see a coffin with him like. Mm-hmm. It's a must. I don't know. See, I'm coughing for you, my girl. Real talk. <laughs> but that's true. If you talk to somebody for two or three months, I mean, that young. You get what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You can't go on in business. Good thing you start from early because I know what kind of person you be. Yes. But if I somebody, when I know, say, my day would be a long time or even say I have a picnic with. Yeah, and invested and somewhat. That, yes. No fish and bread as we eat. <laughs> anyway, that's me that so later. <laughs> All right, my darling. Thanks so much for the. <laughs> but Jody, there's a second part to it, you know. So the second part, I'm done him too. <laughs> and that I should have done the him. The second part, so what would be your reaction if someone was to be eating on your man, you know, by your partner in front of you? In front of you. In front of you, this girl come and chat up to your man. Where I do? Mean, to be honest. Uh-huh. Um, as long as she not touch him or I ask the flirty way towards him. No, yeah. she's flirting she's with flirting him. with him. Oh no, honey. Then it's like it's two of them I look at funeral. <laughs> <laughs> because first this is woman I understand no females, you know. And <laughs> my post is from my Facebook the other day. This this generation are are this hour where we live in now, people people so bold. Oh yes. You know what I mean? I said people People are so bold, like they don't have no respect <laughs> for you. You know, one time you that hide and do things. Yes. They might come up in front oh, of you and, yes. and disrespect you. Yeah. But you see, a lady, a real lady would have never, True. I would say, put herself out there to embarrass herself. True. You know what I say? True. I mean, me I taught this now, but if something for happen out in public with my man, I'm upset about it. More than walk away, because first yeah. of all, 
my two causes for them something there. If you have cause a seed, not two. Too much. Real talk, my girl. I want your band, my girl. I want your band. September. Oh. But we address the situation <laughs> when we go home. And if it now work out, it just now work True. out. True. But for you, no gun out, they're gonna broke our and member. No, me, this is the generation What's where that? everybody pop out them phone, yes, this and a video. When pop out, this gonna world star hip hop. How am I gonna get beat up? This gonna gone viral. I'm not even gonna make no money, make no money after the video when they put it out. True, <laughs> true, true. So, first of all, more the addressing when him reach home, yeah, and, get, and we have to get a better understanding of each other. So, listen, brethren. When we go out, it's either you're going to respect me or you're not respect me. Or this relationship <laughs> just free and can't work. Yes. You're free to do what you want to do, but not do it in front of me. All it's right. It's simple. Definitely. All right? Do me a favor. You'll be at Fan Fusion? Not this year. I'm in New Jersey. I'm in bed. Uh, will you be at Fan Fusion for July 7th? So she's no. in our jersey in our bed. No, I me, me come to Jamaica after that. So. Oh, well, guess it's so when you come, yeah. find UL, find Daddy Road and draw him by his ears because him say, draw who for ears? <laughs> yeah? <laughs> <laughs> so oh, make sure you find him. Awesome. Make sure you find him and draw his ears. You hear? Time can't fight you now. Yeah. Make you want address here, yeah, Jody. Yeah, man, the first thing we do, Melana Jamaica, I rent one bicycle at the airport and find him. No, man, no <laughs> Bet, better than that. I'm going to run an address for you. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right, my darling. Thanks so much. Later. All right, sweetie. All right, cool. All right well, let's quickly, we had a caller on the 453. We invite you to call right back, please, and thank you. All right, in the meantime, let's drop um, two of those messages up there quickly. Um, who are we going to first, Cassidy? Um, Denisha said, well, old fire take easy for cash. We got that one already. Oh, the call coming back. Yes. Good night, caller. Thanks for calling back on the 453. You're on air. Hello. Good night. Hi. How are you? So, what's the question going? Huh? Repeat that. The question. Yeah. So, we're saying that you and your partner out there going out to an event and you... Um, the, the part well, you are there with your partner and some other family or friend that you happen to have. You see the person talking up to your partner, only to learn that they are exes. How would you deal with that revelation? It all depends, you know, because look at this way if it's in the past, it's in the past, mm -hmm. so it all depends on them. If they want to put it in the future, if they um, cast away our relationship, mm -hmm. then no respect never did it from start, and no relationship never did it. So if I pass, they can be friends and just friends. So you don't have a problem with your man being friends with your your friend who they were, they both were together intimately, or a family member that you found out that were, they were together intimately. You have no problem with your man being friends with that person now. No, it all depends, you know, as I said. No problem long as I'm my man. If you don't want to be friends, you know, just be friends. Okay. You can't trust. It depends on how far the relationship is coming from. Yes. Because relationship will and trust. So you're going to stand off with your friend now or your relative now, the girl. You're going to keep her at a distance now that you found out that they were friends. Because only they cannot. Talk up, talk up before it could be thin up. When you see her, hi, what? Mm, how you do? A long time I don't see you. What going on in yard there? And so will you be standing off with her now because you found out that she was dating your man one time? All right. You see, if I have somebody who close, what eh. is like, often, yes. they supposed to know my man. And then I'll tell me, that means they uh, put me in a sock. Eh. Eh. A long friend like them. Who you want far from me? Mm -hmm. And come and show like that my man that no or something. It different. Yes. Because she gonna come, then my talk for me, she know they are my man at the time, I'm a family. She don't know they are my man. Eventually, they might go find out to me and a couple and such and such. Mm -hmm. So them supposed to show respect both and both sides. Right. Right. So, if I'm a family, I'm a friend, they're supposed to respect me. Right. I'm supposed to respect me. True. So, I'm not going to have no problem. Okay. 
Yeah. Well, the, the next part of the question says, if you found out that a woman was flirting in front of, with, with your man in front of you, yeah, she's there flirting with the man, and maybe he must smile and try a wink off and a look upon you at the same time to see if you see what's going on, and him do the, like him want to facilitate the conversation. How, how do you deal with that? All right. My man is supposed to know how me see. Yes. I'm jealous. You're so, jealous? Why? He can't do that in front of me, man. <laughs> He's supposed to know as well as me that says. Who can play that game? If I go to that in front of me, I mean, I mean very attractive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm jealous. You're not supposed to do something women I like. As well True. As I mean, don't do what we don't like people to see. True, true. Real talk. And if many persons employ that in their relationships, it will be better off. Yeah. All right. All right, darling. Thank you so much. You know, I'm yeah. going to ask you something clear. Because she made a good point. You yeah, know? she did. Because the point that she made, and, and that's why I say that I would leave. Because if you're my friend, you would know who I'm dating. Mm -hmm. If you're my relative, you'd know who I'm dating. And if not out of the two, not tell me. Because you see, it's not everything you're going to disclose, you know. But that is something that is going to be a need to know. Because something must have ring in your head, so we must buck up. Something might make all of be somewhere at some point, mm -hmm. And then it's going to come out, tell me. So that if anything, I will be aware. So it, it to me, but, but, it brings but, but deceit. But you need to know, so then, then you should talk. And I see yes, you. you need yes. to, why you need to know? Because it's either your friend and clear from my friend, then I can't count on three finger. So <laughs> if I'm a friend, I'm a sissy, <laughs> I'm a man close, I'm going to find out, say them did that ex. I just... It, it, no, but, but, but guess what now? She was with the man, not knowing, say, you and the man. No, me and the man never had a friend yet. Yes. But come on, we're going to share this same space. Tell me. Because I can deal with the fact that you were... Me, probably me and I are even friends long after. Then break up and find out. certain things I can deal with. Come to me mature enough. But if them know now, all of us, if a relative, make it even worse. All of we are going to share the same space. Tell me. And don't make me find out. But you have some people, Shelly. You have some people who them and them are, them are relative and they're not really close to the one either. And they don't know whether one they do and whether one they do. So when she know that they with mass G, um, G, Joe. Joe, <laughs> when she was with Mr. Grind, yes, some years ago, and Mr. Grind leave where he was living, but probably in a different parish, and come out port, you know, and find you, and say, whoa, oh, yeah, man, I'm a queen, this. Long ago, all him said, back foot. And the girl used to come down to Westmoreland and come, come see me a weekend That's time. different, Cleo. We're not talking about that. No, no we're not talking about that. We're not near Cleo. or far. All right, no. that's what I catch me, you know, because me don't know enough of my relative them. Same thing. Right? Same but thing. fine. If it is something where it, I don't know, Westmoreland and them come to Portland, that's different, Cleo. We are talking about Halloween at the same circle. But for but, some reason... But does it matter where they are? Yes, it matter, man. It matter, man. You need for no. Because <laughs> so it could have go on right under your nose and you don't need for no because I have to check the status of the FBI just chip in and I go and do some checking <laughs> up and I just so me know say chip I go lick and everything I go to smash so, up. So tell me now, you meet this man now, you know, and you and this man are going, you know, good and everything. And your cousin from Westwell and I said, best, come up, I put you now. And you know, remember say you meet this man in you know, Portland, you know, you don't know where the man did that come from. Well, you'd have eventually found out where he was living before. But you just say the man even leaves St. Bess and come up here, come live too. Some months before I meet you and all these things. Lo and behold, now your relative now some fun funeral all go on and then come up on all these things. Lo and behold, now you say, wait, what go on? And then meet up and they start greet up. You know what I said, then, oh. Joe, no, that, this is a woman. Yeah. In that case, probably has something far off, cousin. It would even. Uh, it doesn't like, matter. Like, no, no, cousin, cousin. No, no, I say, in that case, <laughs> it would have been some far off, cousin, when me possibly don't know. So, therefore, if it pop up and, yeah, then, I did X and, and me find out that I'm a cousin to that different, mm -hmm. but nobody that's living where me know, say, you are me a blood family, we know. And you hear me talk about Chris all the while. And you're not know, <laughs> chipping at your head. And, <laughs> you know, and you probably see Chris. Some people are see, slow. See, see Chris on my phone or see Chris somewhere in a chip. Some people are slow. No, some, some people are deceitful and not clear uh, and your own family <laughs> will come in at your house like them come spend a weekend or whatever and them watch your man and them hear your talk or your man treat you nice and oh. them say deliver it to we don't know I don't trust them uh, I'm sorry I don't trust <laughs> them because <laughs> not talk. a friend me and him are going to have each ups about it because some things are, is need to know and I'm not talking a random girl yeah I'm not talking a random girl because I don't really care if you ex I'm not talking a random sometimes you know you need to know because guess what well you don't know can't hurt you 
<laughs> so, I thought it was the other way around. Yeah, man. Me? I thought it was where you no. don't know won't hurt you. What I know cannot hurt me. <laughs> where you don't know can't hurt you. Oh, because boy. Because something when you do find out, it mash up your meds. Mash up your man. meds. Mash up Big your and meds, serious. Man. Yeah, man. Well, let's see what the peeps on the street. Flirty, 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 flirty girl. <laughs> <laughs> let's see what some of the Vox poppers have been saying, all right? Basically, I wouldn't have a problem with this situation based on the fact that I don't require my partner to name the persons he have dated or tell me the amount of persons he dated. If he wants to tell me, fine, I don't have a problem. She flirting with him is no problem to me. Ah, sure, go ahead and flirt. Why are you flirting? Because you seem with someone better than you? Well, if he was the one flirting with her, now that's where I would have a problem. Because I would think, okay, you're flirting with her and she was your ex. There must be something. Well, after we leave the situation, I would say something. I would say, um, why didn't you tell me? You know we're going to meet this person or stuff. Why didn't you tell me? But basically, I wouldn't have a problem. And hex is an ex. And that's it. All right, that everybody here is. See, for my personal person, you know, it's like eating and not going to go on there, so. See me, I can admire from a distance and think, but not eating, huh? no, no, no. That not make it, no dear, no time. All right, but I see if it's just a side, side person, oh, it and I don't give a crap, can't do that, because I share me, I share that one day, I'm willing to share more. I don't care about that sharing, but my personal person, no. And me alone, me alone. Yo, daddy, good morning, what are going Yo, them something I want to some still you know. It's simple. If you have flirt or uh, make somebody hit by you right in front of you, you can go either two ways. Either you watch it for see how the person deal with that. Mm-hmm. You understand? Because you really can't stop a man from flirt or uh, try hit on your woman, you know, or hit on your woman, you know. Cause when she look good, she look good. You understand? But then now if she try and entertain the fuck off, then at the end of the party or uh, wherever we are, it just you know. You can um you can go with the person, you can leave with the person. You check. And as for the one with the f- ex or uh, the family member who he or uh, who she a uh, friend up with or uh, whatever. Me just hold my side. Yo, a problem you have to fix you now. You can't carry a long problem now. Because if all them something carry on in front of your face. Imagine when you go to work or go and go lime or something. It's hell work home. So if you just fix the problem, get rid of it. Really and truly. Don't need go digest well with me. Come in and go take that. Cause if me there somewhere with my family and my friends, I missing my partner friendly. Me I will get right down there, right then and there. Me want know what's happening and how, who you guys are quaint and how this and me have to get to the bottom of it. And then ain't go digest well with me, because guess what? If we never book up, me wouldn't know so on our friend. So right, right there and then he telling me that something is going on between somebody right there. So because if me never, if we never happen to be at the same place at the same time, me wouldn't know you guys are acquainted. So for me, that the revelation they wouldn't digest well with me none at all. Real talk. Real, Real talk, talk Charmy. I just love Come when Charmy gives her responses. Can I tell you? Um, indeed. Uh, we go back. Well, the text line <laughs> is giving some issues, we're, we're Cassidy. Boys, okay. Yeah, we do have more box pop, but let's see if we can get some of the WhatsApp messages out first. Um, <clears throat> mistake, not Kershaw. Oh, I'm not sure what. I, I, no, there's more to it. Oh, there's yeah, there's more to that. Yeah. Can we open that one, Cassidy? Um, tum 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 tum. Okay. In the meantime, yeah. um, Karen in Chovy, that's Chovy in Port Marant. She has more to her statement as well. Chipstow. too. Why did um, a Chipstow? She <laughs> she wrote Chipstow. <laughs> <laughs> she wrote Chipstow. So somebody must have given her. That she wrote address. All right. Styles, good night, guys. Big up, war boss, Madded, and all right. Hey, Madded, what's up? From out of New York. All right, big up yourselves um, to the whole well, new P- Pira crew. crew. Yeah. All right. Um, up, um, <coughs> it's Pete it's again. Pete again. Okay, then. All right. <laughs> big ups to all of you guys up there. Portland, all right. All right. Big, big up. Right. crew and the New York crew. Yeah. Let's see what the others are saying, Cassidy. 
All right, this one is from Mr. Ewell Jackson. I don't think this is the family. Is it, is it Daddy Rude or Ewell? What do you think? Daddy Let's Rude. find out. Daddy Rude. Um, um, you soon hear my views. Um, <clears throat> Jody, if you bail, Jody must bail him, say, man yeah. Man, a hot man. Man, a hot man. Hey, man in, what do you say? Man in, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. No, because him, not in the studio, they can't talk. Yeah, draw off at ear. But no worry, you say, because Jody, I'm a piece of draw ears for you. you right? Me would have given. Give you the car key for your one going home. Yes. Up and puff. Something like that says so. One go up and puff like the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you'll like, be the surprised. like the wolf. Yeah. And then he will be happy he's left yeah. with the girl, ain't it? Knowing Daddy Road, yeah. <laughs> Me have a vibes for going work pan. Can't agree with your Shelly. <laughs> you don't know, you need to know anything. <laughs> <laughs> You say a week, you're weak. Man used to start out a hat, yeah, oh, you put in a your good relationship. <laughs> and true, the man used to start out oh, your oh, hat, girl, oh, auntie. Oh, you are oh, vexed. Oh, and the better something tell. Look like you're no, insecure man. about your thing. No, man, the thing <laughs> flare in that road. The thing that, flare in. Feel one, what you're talking about. <laughs> if that's something that is good, he wouldn't leave it. Oh, you're crazy. Jesus. That is not Mr. Jackson. She, she, me, no one, she, my, that's why I stand up and talk to her, but you have to put them in that place. That is not Look Mr. Here, Jackson, you have to train the boy, way. them like pit bull, yeah? <laughs> no, this way to my bedroom, pit bull, but you know, we have to train them like pit bull. That's yeah. not from Mr. Jackson, it's from Daddy Root. <laughs> I don't know why I'm putting um, you and Jackson up there. Um, Sherelle in Toronto says, Good night, ladies. Good night to you, Sherelle. Yeah. Um, if you are in a respectful and committed relationship, both partners should know their limits, true? If someone is flirting with the other partner, th no, the other partner should put a stop to it. Claim your king or queen. Set boundaries. That, that's just yeah. my take on it. And then if the person is flirting with you, a man isn't stupid or a woman isn't stupid to know that yeah. the person is flirting. If your part and even if your partner is not even there, Worst your partner is there, you walk away. Yeah. Don't stand there and be listening to this yeah, dude. Yeah, I'm smiling. I'm Hard to be kicking your teeth with this girl. Is, yeah. yeah. Mad. And you know what she about. Come on, man. Yeah. You know the step in, you know. Clear all me there, you know. I'm not chat nothing, you know. And <laughs> when me Bex, I just smile nicely and go over there. I just <laughs> plant myself right in the middle. I'm going to turn around, probably drop him a one kiss or hug him up or squeeze him good and say good night to both of them. I'm still smiling, right. but him see me eye them and yeah, know what's going on. Yeah, and she it. know what is what. She just take her little yeah, self man, just wheel take away. Herself. Yeah, man, yeah. just tell him good night and walk away. Mm -hmm. So, we and have more than one way. I, I think I'm wondering, I'm wondering how I would deal with that. I'm wondering if I would go over and say, um, excuse me, I'm ready. Let's go. Yeah, something like that. Oh, yeah, I think something, knowing me, but, maybe I'd say that or I'd go over and stand right there in the midst of them. Yeah, for true. Yeah. And start, ta say start talking. Say good night nicely, yeah. Start talking to them. Yeah, man, nicely say good night. Start talking to him rather. All polite and everything. Yeah, nice and whatever, whatever, mm -hmm. whatever. Um, what are you drinking? Oh, whatever, whatever. Just have something to talk about. And I'm going to see if she's going to still stand here uh, or what yeah. he will do. Because he will know that I'm mad. But she may again, not know about Then again, the partner would not know you, you know. Yeah. And no, maybe not. Try. You know, to, um, clear, maybe not. He probably not know The you average know. partner would not know them partner, believe Sometime, me. Sometimes. You know, probably the situation has never occurred before. So he had no reason to, to <laughs> see that side of you. Yeah? Yeah, <laughs> Javine. I can't stand Javine. Cass? Are you my talking to Cassidy? Don't say a word tonight. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Don't say a word tonight, yeah? Our dog, nab your soap. <laughs> hey, beautiful ladies. Good night to you. Good night to you, my dear. Um, me not hear me name. So me, I got to change the station. <laughs> I'm scared. Shelly sound clish. And I'm here. Oh, Jody Mataka. When Jody was on, I think he sent that. Javi, you know me already, man. That means that one is that part is off air. <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord, Javin, no, 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 no. The boy we can't manage a partner because if you do that something, there, you know, and he's good at it. Jesus, peace. Oh, deliver me, Jesus. Do you never want to see my talk to a fly? Aye. No, no, no. no. Me me Experience teaches wisdom. Me oh me boy. Me <laughs> And Sharelle. if you're too skilled, it's going to tell me something. Yeah, tell you must something. have learned his skills somewhere. somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Um, go over and introduce yourself and be friendly, but show ownership. I'm a man. 
or I'm a woman. That. Yep. But then again, from the process, you're stepping and step to them. Yeah. And to the to the to the to the, to the, 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 the position. Show, yeah. That alone should tell us, yo, yeah, the man, the man, a woman coming up, me take on myself, or vice versa. Yeah. But some of them too brazen for true, and they even know themselves really and truly. Worse if you find out that it's a, it's a person's partner they are with. Mm -hmm. you know, don't be all fronting up. And when you find that out, you take on yourself and just, just shift. All right, let's see who else is there. Um, oh, my goodness. It's 10.32. And the time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. And Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage. I like it. Part because so we can't cool. remember. <laughs> Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266 DIB Block Factory and Hardware Supplies Limited your home for the widest selection of building materials and hardware supplies in Portland shop everything from plumbing to electrical to home decor find unbelievable prices on tiles toilets, basins, faucets, shower enclosures vanity sets, doors, windows, lumbers and much more get up to 25% off at DIB Hardware the last Friday and Saturday of every month with their mega month in sale visit any three locations in Portland Buff Bay, St. Marvis Bay and Portland Antonio, call 993-4415. DIB Hardware, your foundation starts with us. Holy golly! <laughs> your Saturdays will never be the same again. 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. on Styles FM. Get the showdown. Social commentary. Two, one, two, no, 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 no ice cream sound. Good morning, teacher, love, teacher. E Edge, your love with a love song. All oh, happening. Between 9 a.m. and 1 p.m. on the People Station, Styles FM, 96.1, 96.5, 96.7. Only the smooth sailing with Colin Anthony. Shotgun to the play. Babes, just follow me now. Right over there, sir. Through that hole there. But babes, be curious if you go in. The place too dark. Just right over there, sir. Right over where the hole there. Hey, chum man, all mosquitoes are biting me. Bills me no like, come on them places after dark, you know. So wait, are they like a bat them afraid of? Chum man, we almost reach. <laughs> and them something that I care about with you know. That's why we make sure we walk with all my Bible. You think they're going to make rolling calf reach me like last year? But kiss me brown for all of them people here. All them places are so crowded. And when they pass through the... Fan Fusion, episode 5, Tipsy Islands. Saturday, July 7th, starting at 7 p.m. sharp at the Bayview Waterfront property, Oysters Bay, Port Antonio. Be there. Who said that woman can't done? You can't Tell done. them said the woman don't come to done. <laughs> Native Audio and Equipment Rental Services now offering stage lighting and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, play, wedding, street party, or even club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio and Equipment Rental Services, proud sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Yes, welcome back to Real Talk. And it's Shelly and Cleo tonight. And we want to say shout outs to Raquel, Nurse Raquel. She's listening in. Where is she? Which state? Which part of the world? Uh, where Raquel is? We can't remember okay, her but place. Wherever she is across the waters, <laughs> big yeah, up yourself, Mr. Raquel. Yeah, Raquel, <laughs> don't kill me. We can't ever remember where this is. <laughs> remember, but we can't remember. Okay. Look up yourself, Raquel. Ariel, if you're listening, good night to you. All right, so we want to go back to, we had about two more messages to read out, and then we go to some more Vox Pop for you. All right, we had uh, Marcia in South Carolina. Hey, ladies, good night. Hi, sweetie. 
Goodies, Goody doesn't have to say a word when Goody walk up. Next people have been move. And you, you All know, right, Marcia, you hot know, girl, that something. About it. No, 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 no. I'm gonna say hello <laughs> and be polite and smile. So she's not, no, she's not gonna know I'm that gonna I'm mad. I'm gonna be sarcastic. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah. Sarcasm I'm straight up. I'm not just off. gonna walk over and make this girl and feel that, like you know anything. that, right? Yeah, <laughs> that sarcasm. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, Black or pearl, big up yourself. Black or pearl. Yeah, he says. I always ugly man flirt with your girl because they are so brave and have nothing to lose. <laughs> All right, me Blacker. would I want I to see that, too, that girl what, what when you were talking about? I'm talking about, about your excuse. Yeah, idiot. Me can't tell you say if you, if Shelly walk over and I say excuse me, good night and say and she hello said, and, and she say, say your, your excuse. excuse. Remember, me said that flat. <laughs> and me not ask you no question. <laughs> that flat. So you are going to be embarrassed. So you're going to be embarrassed more than me because me I slap it down and take the key from you and go home. <laughs> but and you are not going to ask it all out. Oh, but say your yeah, excuse. Anybody disrespect me them way there, you would be surprised. And remember me tell you, say, I have ways off to do it. Oh, <laughs> you say I'm right, but you're excused. <laughs> and this is that not clear? Yes, it is. You must be mad. In other words, take yourself. Yeah. You for go on about your business. Yeah. Oh, yeah, come as a condo. <laughs> oh, yeah, go. Why would you sleep in our bed? <laughs> oh, jeez. All right, guys. So we go back to some more Vox Pop. I'll keep those messages coming in. Uh, text messages the, um, for the WhatsApp. And, of course, the regular text line, 4531444. And the calls, of course, can come in. Overseas, 954-338-7973. All right? Vox Pop. Well, if I get a flirt with my man, what may I go do? I just like I say, I want to treat some serious. I just some mistake, but if she go past that place, you don't know see how hard that. Well, straight up still, my point of view, when you want in relation to whether or not your family or your friend or your woman did there and them something, and it just a bust out. You don't really say matter per se, you know, whether, you know, it's a woman where you just uh, look a bounce off or, or it's a woman where you're serious about. I never got advocate for nobody who said, boy, who oh, through them partner, they deal with them family or them friend. They never left them and all of them. So I think that's a foolishness, right? You know, make somebody else, you know, define my part towards happiness, you know, and whether that happiness is for love or just for pleasure. At least happiness involved. You see me? Once upon a time in my life, me used to talk to a sister, and then me realized that the sister, I deal with my brethren undercover. You see me? And me said, boy, I'm going to cut. And then when we really think about all the things they good, me said, yo, better the two we go and enjoy ourselves, you know? And it was a very beautiful summer. So, me now go burden my spirit and my energy because of something where did I go on with some people? In my case, it did I go on while me did that. And me just have a business, yeah, so I me know me did I get ready and what me did get was good. It was working for me. And the other matter now, in relation to somebody, I put argument to my woman and me did it. Whether she had take the talk or not, the boy had out of order, the boy had a disrespect, so. Oh no, the Heineken back at thing already, right? <laughs> All right, hear me now, Daddy Rude and Lady Cleo. For example, me find out, say, boy, one of my friends and my girlfriend ex are family. One of my family are ex. Um, it, it, would, uh, it would really depend on how we, de, you know, in the dating part of the relationship, you know, what we talk about and so forth. Because he's a man I touch every topic when me I look at a girl, you know. I have to know something about her history to some extent. So if that never come up, then she'd hide something from me. You understand? And in a situation like that, when me just find out now, me love the catty already. Me in too deep already. So, I mean, there's very little where me can do. You know, probably me can draw one side and say, well, babes, will you never tell me this or will you never show me that? And, but by then, um, Daddy Road, you, you die in too deep already, so you have to just move on, deal with it, and move on. There's nothing much to do. Now, in terms of a man I hit by my girl in front of me, you understand? I flirt with her. If, if, it depends if him know her, say me and her a friend, you know? 
or not. Because if, if, if a man knows I'm my catty and he might deal with that, well, maybe I'm going to say something to him. But if you don't know, he just go and enjoy himself. Me and my catty know what we know. Real talk. I've seen, you know, oh, I've had friends, boy. you know. I like the way he actually, looks at it. He, and I've done it, but not with my person, but I've done it with friends of mine who will go out mm -hmm. and the people will come up and they want to buy a drink and then, and then buy, buy a drink and me and him a drink. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I'm, I'm not going to do that with my personal person, but you have people who stay like that. They don't mm -hmm. care. They just see you, they like you, and I'm going to step up to you. But mm -hmm. I'm not going to disrespect my partner. I'm not going to I'm not gonna flirt yeah. with a guy I don't. I'm not going to do it. Respect, because me want respect too. Me not and, do it. and then, as this man said, you know, you have some men who, they'll be there, and the man is flirting with their girl. And they don't do anything about it. No. Because it's like they're saying, and like the guy a while ago, gentleman a while ago was saying, in go and do him a do. If, if you don't know, say I'm my girl That's and him want to. Yeah, make him, I, make I, him I, go and do him, do him thing. Because you have some person who will say, I know that he won't get through. You have some men who will say that. Or some women will say, I'm my guy, I know him and. I know no, no he's, he's, he's going to be telling me about it after. I'm not going to join the party either. I'm not into it yeah. either, to if be honest. I'm going to like fine. it. You are out alone. I don't know you do it, but once we're right. no, at the venue, yeah, I'm not going to do it. Don't be entertaining mm. her. No, no, I'm not no. no, no. Don't be entertaining no, her because right away, unless it's a case where we have some plan. And... I think, why and people what think that's yeah. insecure if you say no, you don't. I, mean, I, don't know. I, I don't think it's insecurity. No. I think it's a matter of you, how you feel about how it makes you feel. Yeah. As a person. The person may not know that she's all right. For a man, he may not know that I'm there with my partner, right? So therefore, he's going to walk over and he's going to say something and I'm going to let him know that, hey, I'm not here alone. Exactly. Yeah. And, yeah, I'm not going to be right. You're not, I, you don't have to be rude, right? Yeah, you don't, you don't have, have to be rude, rude but I'm not going to tolerate him. him not mind. knowing how your partner would feel and the average person probably would have a little bit of you know yeah, things yeah. to say people are there looking on and seeing yeah and know that you know that your partner is there with yeah, you and yeah. they are there skinning and laughing up with this person who is flirting with you had it been an ordinary friend we guys changing a few just a few a word or two with that that's, that's different, different. Say, you know because you can say see your yeah. friend and say hey walk on whatever whatever and you know me and so and so they're here and whatever yeah. you know but you can't know the person flirting with you. And you stay there in the presence of the person. Even, if it's even his friend, nobody that... You're not supposed to really stand and talk too long. And it's a, an acquaintance, you know. Or if I'm, I'm there and I say, hey, baby, you know, um, that's my colleague. I'm going to go and say hi. Yeah, if he yeah, comes right. over and say hi, I made the introduction. But aside from that, if somebody I know, I'm not going to keep a long conversation. And when I'm done, I'm yeah. going to say, hey, not babe, polite. that's my, that's my um, colleague. We were just saying hi. Can not I keep a long conversation? All. Respect you every time. It yeah. has nothing to do with insecurity, but to do with respect. Yes. Real talk. Real talk indeed. And that's so for me. All right. <clears throat> so do we have any other messages there, Cassidy? Um, nope. Look at the situation right. with the angel and... And, and be the man. Yes. Right. Yeah, because she, I, 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 from what I heard or gathered, she wanted him to dance a yes. particular song with and, her. And he sidestepped her. Initially, he uh -huh. sidestepped her. And she took up the microphone and said, oh, that's not to ball out. And then when the man said really? to her, I said, yeah. She oh, my it goodness. Up. So when she said, oh, I go on, you're dancing, you don't want to dance with me or something. And the man said, not at this time. It's not appropriate at this time. It never had to reach us. And then she could be like, oh, she never embarrassed. She was embarrassed. She must have And been. that's why she took the microphone from the mic. And she then she's not even thinking yeah. because me know if, if it's a case where, I mean, I wasn't even going to ask her to dance in the first place. <laughs> but then let's say some of us women don't think them before we ask. Them too comfortable, you yeah, know, because yeah, we, we always cocky. go out and do it. Them right. time they and him did married. Right. And even after you and him um, no mar uh, separated. separated. And it happened again. Yeah, he but, wasn't with anybody, right. definitely. But now he's with somebody and the relationship is defined and everybody know that they're together. Have some respect for yourself and for and the for people person, in the relationship. Yeah, relationship. No matter yeah. with them, something. You're, you're practically not having no clothes either. I, you know what I'm saying? Cocking it. They cocky, yeah, they cocky behavior. Yeah, that doesn't yeah, work. Yeah, leave that alone. She could have and I think she could have just and saved herself the second embarrassment by just yes. when he said no, just, yes. just but, play it yeah, off, play and, it and off and and she, she but to go on the mic and, and then it's ego. It. And it's then she ego. went she went um shit the girl about oh insecure. It had nothing to do with insecurity. You no, know, let it, it does, go. It some things that they used to do, you don't do them no more. Right. Where maturity steps in. You must have some form of maturity about yeah. it. Man. I, I like the way he dealt with it. One person said he some previous engagement they had danced. 
I think it was in January they had something down and ask us. But we think it would have been okay. But I mean, I want to define relationship And then no. maybe, just maybe, the girl yeah. friend didn't like the idea. I'm not wrong with that. Uh, right. And maybe how it came across. Maybe how we were close. <laughs> Papa, maybe our paparazzi <laughs> put it across. They yeah. just didn't like something yeah. about it. Maybe they discussed it. Yeah. And he just decided, you know what? This might not be the best level, thing to yeah, do. Yeah, because if you notice, most of the DJs, them know. One time, I remember, they used to have a lot of girls up there getting all sh dancing on them. Most of them don't matter with that. They, mm -hmm. they are there dancing, but not on them or with them. Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. I, I realized they're moving away from I, the I contact. Saw, I saw a video once. I think I showed it with UL. Um, the man was there with his girl in the audience. Up, <laughs> up to front stage, really. And the, <laughs> the lady on stage doing her act. And she... Call him on stage, put pull him on stage, whatever. So he was on stage and he lay on his back, mm -hmm. and the girlfriend was there, in the, right at the front there. Mm -hmm. And I was wondering what she was gonna do, the lady was gonna do with him. So of course she had him on his back and she put his feet together. Mm -hmm. So I was saying some stunt she going to know, some you know, mm -hmm. some decent something. My word, Almighty goodness, the woman went over in a split second, you know, she went over. Yes. Him, he sat up, so he was, was on his buttocks, mm -hmm. sitting up, and she just held his head and just <laughs> wallowed it. That a rule that you that you know. And she just held his head, and he's gonna have a, he's gonna be flipping right now, yeah. <laughs> and she held his head, and of course she just went up herself, her her private part in his face. You know, yeah. say the what woman, the woman, <laughs> the the girlfriend in the audience pulled him by his shirt. Tear him off of the stage <laughs> yes. and start beat out in their life. Yes. But guess what? I didn't think I didn't think he deserved that because he didn't know he what, didn't she, was know what she was yeah. gonna do and yeah. it happened so quickly. To be honest, I'm not taking sides for him or anything. No, but, but fair is it fair. happened so quickly. And when the poor woman dropped off of this, is that good thing him have like good reflex? Because she like literally only by him shirt, tearing him <laughs> off the stage and the poor man turning over like a ball, <laughs> rolling off of the stage. You know, I, so I can imagine him leave the venue. I can. I can imagine she pulled him out and probably gave him some good beating. Yeah. No, well, maybe not, but you know, said. So but if anybody, gone home, if anybody were to get beating, it shouldn't be the man. It would have been the woman on the no, stage. Yeah, because he. As <laughs> because say, she aware. must know, say, that man could be there with somebody in the audience. But the same thing happened to the angel. Really? Before. Yes, man. She had she, she brought the man on stage, and when the when the woman in the audience realized what she was doing to him. <laughs> you want grab him off, man. See him where she does hold him and just grab him off. So oh, it's like she not learned. Oh my <laughs> she goodness not See him where she does. Women don't take kindly to those things, no, um, you ladies. Can Please. Put your wherever and other people. Oh, in, in people's face. No, or man. In a certain kind of way. Nobody's oh, going to put it on. Come on, no, man. Gracious. I don't know what happened after that. I would have loved to know what happened <laughs> after went that. They <laughs> <laughs> Good they night, two beautiful ladies. Thank you. Good night to you, to my darling. One four. We don't know who you are. Yeah, but, but thank you. All right. Um, well, the other part to the Vox Pop. Go back to the other part for me. And that is like big time. Um, that's more than flirting, you know. <laughs> it's like sexually assaulting the woman's man in public. Yep. Pretty much. And uh, that could have never. I don't know. I think if looking on. If no, if I were there and if I were the victim of that, I'm gonna say victim because that's a victim, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> if I saw that and I saw where he tried to resent it, I wouldn't be mad at him. I'll be so flipped with that woman. Probably would I probably take her and pull her off of the stage and and me no, me no, me no. That to me is extreme. That in the face thing. Uh-uh. Yeah, you can't, you really, can't do really that. You excessive. don't know if he's that kind of guy. Either. Yeah, so that you kind of guy. Pull somebody either. out the crowd and say, "Hey." Yeah, I saw they, a lady. Know themselves. I saw a video with one night that you know she she actually was, you know, that's where she wanted to put her. I'm, I'm like, you know, uh -uh. They don't do them. Then, then I saw another one with the man. Pull, call this, he's a dancer and he's an exotic dancer apparently, mm -hmm. and he looks good. Stud, body looks good. The member seemed a little bit flunky, flunky, <laughs> but good size too. And he went on this, he was on the stage and he t called this lady up, pulled her up. She looked ordinary, like an ordinary, you know, person. Mm -hmm. And I, 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 I don't know if it was this woman. I somehow can doubt it because she was just acting as if she was 
she was actually like <gasps> ecstatic, you know, like she, she really had feelings or she, she excited about it. They're usually excited about them. Yeah. Them kind of guys, and you know? then <laughs> the man was able to put her on this thing and he was gyrating and carrying on on her because he was doing an act, you know? Mm -hmm. But the part that got me, that hit me for six and for seven and for eight, was when he plucked out the top, the, oh, the two ladies up here. And started. <laughs> and was with his tongue all yes, over her. I, I think I said that one. And <laughs> she didn't like push him off or anything. And I'm like, no. how does she think it's okay mm. for him to be, you know, having his mouth on her, her, her tits like that? <laughs> Did I get it? You know, my, all right. A lot of them go to these things too. Because I go... And, and I, but oh I'm not gonna goodness. allow. I'm not gonna allow any of them to actually take me on any stage because I know what they're gonna do and whatever either. they're gonna do. The, somebody might not be that bare face to actually take it out, but their whatever their, their gestation. Like, I, I would not just. I'm not. I'm not <laughs> no. just gonna lay there or no, sit there sir. and allow him to take out my wherever no, and do whatever uh, 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 he wants uh, 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 with it. Uh, 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 and I don't even find myself wanting to go up on one of those events either because I don't. They tend to want to go extreme and do kind of them, foolishness. But I stay but far I'll watch from. And, yeah, I'll watch and so. But, I stay far mm -hmm. from the crowd. I'm not gonna go yeah. in the middle of the crowd and be mm -mm. there. No, crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. All right, so do we have any more? No, no, that's it. For, okay, yeah. All right, guys, of course, remember the phone lines are still open. Uh, 453 1444 and 954 for our overseas people. All right, um, we are going to go into the letter tonight. Oh, did I give my <laughs> did I give my view on the latter part of it? Yeah, I think yeah. I did. Yeah, man. Yeah, Covered. um, the flirting thing not working out. Oh, All man. right, so we close the box talk for tonight. Thanks, guys, for your input. Thanks for your um, contribution to the box pop, and we thank you. Until next week, we come back with more of that. All right. Uh, so our letter for tonight. We're gonna read the letter and we'll take up pop take us up to the power to the next yeah. break, and then we go through with you. All right. Feel free to hook us up right throughout as we go throughout the rest of the show. We go until 12 o'clock. All right, so here we go with the letter for tonight. Uh, dear Real Talk, I have always listened silently. I felt the need to write in because I need an objective view on my situation. I am a 30-year-old. I am 30 years old, rather. And it seems just as I was putting my life back together, everything came crashing down. I felt like I'm destined to suffer. My Lord. I have five kids, four different men. Lost two pregnancies in the first trimester at the hands of abuse from two exes. I always seem to pick the wrong men and get the wrong treatment. Oh boy. So many women could say, welcome to the club, honey. <laughs> I've had a rough life. My mom put me out when I was 15 years old and got pregnant shortly after. And I've never had a stable home since. I've been through all the abuses you can imagine, Jesus. I lost the only job I had in five years, and I'm presently coaching with a relative, with a relative with two, my two last kids. For years, I've been avoiding men and attending my church, until a few months ago, I met a man from out of town. Watch out for them out of town people there, you know. <laughs> I guess I was thirsty. Hmm, she dry. Or she went. Or she went. She kicked up. I let it I was thirsty. In other words, yearning, burning. Because we hooked up within days of meeting. It cost me dearly. As I'm pregnant again. I don't know how comes because we did use a condom. When I first read it, I was like, Immaculate Conception, but then I read that apart. She used a condom, she said. 
This old bastard must be all bored the condom to hell. Oh my. Neither of us have a job. Judgment, I know. And it's his first child. So he's very happy. I don't want any more kids. Let me, let me, say, let me tell you how she said that. Me no want no more pick me. And if I had the money, I would do away with it. What must I do? This is affecting me. I need help. May that hurt me. <laughs> May that hurt me, Pia, do you see? No, sir. Uh -uh. <clears throat> oh, my God. I really tell you I feel like I'm different from pain in my head. <laughs> Seriously. Come and say, imagine, say, boy, what if I did me in uh, our situation? It wouldn't be you. It wouldn't be me for two, no, I swear. So, you don't make uh -uh. out of them cards there. Uh -uh. uh -uh. <laughs> Trust me. So, yeah. like we say, go back to the top for me, Cassidy, because the girl need a whole heap of help, you know. A whole heap of help she need, you know. I don't know why that would not come give me that letter here tonight. <laughs> I'm going to stress we all because we are women. I don't know why I'm doing this to me tonight, you know. Why never do this when I'm there here? So we can't throw some of the stress for him as a man. We talk about the, 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 <laughs> so this poor young lady and Javina sleep either. Uh -uh. This young lady, <clears throat> she says she not no luck. Peer radio she get from mm. men. When an abuse or something else, a peer all the different abuses she has been, she has been given them, handed them. She has five kids, four different fathers, and of course she lost two pregnancies, and a beat up why she. Lose them pregnancy there. Probably. So she'd yeah. have six. Yeah, should have had seven. Oh. Yes, sir. Seven of them should have. <gasps> and she always picked the wrong men, she say. Because she get pure by treatment. Her life has not been easy. It's been a rough one. Mother put her out when she was fifteen. Mm. Wow. I wonder why that was. Was she delinquent? Pregnant. Or put all forget money. You know, they kind of something there because yeah. some parents who put out them, yeah, them daughters, yeah, you know. Yeah, um, put, out, put out at 15, got pregnant shortly after that, and she has never been in a stable home. Women need stability to function properly. I tell you straight up. So now she do not have any job, and in five, well, she, the, the last job she had within five years, she lost it. And she don't have to be catching with relatives. So I'm presuming that, that this woman has hmm. to be um, probably every now and again, she probably finds somebody who probably can assist her yeah. to be getting some form of aid. Yeah. Because she can't be living on the cousin, the relative yeah. rather, the relative yeah. house with her two people in them. I eat out and eat and I mm -hmm. drink and I sleep and I use water and light and can't contribute to nothing. You don't know how well that will go down with the average Jamaican relative. No, sir. Yeah? So maybe she has to you know, be trying to find little, little bits and pieces yeah. here and there. So of course, this woman is trying to go to her church thing because she, she, she got through too much stress and drama. No more pain. No, she, she tired of the drama, no, yeah? Church, yeah? Yeah, man. So she got in her church. She had to do her church thing and, you know, until a few months ago. Boy, father nature, mother nature call. And she gonna meet this man. You know, come from the area because she has a boy, you know. No, no, in the area probably yeah. me, have, me have too much in the area already where you know children, new. father and so. So I try one one out of town one to see hmm. if you know him look a bit better or different. Man. And she the kind of feel for the something, 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 yeah man, you know. Yeah, river man. run, river Dry. run. So she <laughs> she wants to sort it out. Right? So she hook up herself now with this man, you know, where she meet from out of town and boy. Next thing she know. The sweet, sweet night turned into so and so a man in a couple of months after because there she, she ended up with a pregnancy that she didn't want, she didn't plan for, and this man apparently do him thing for start her out, forget the baby. I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Anything, possible. Anything is possible. Can't trust so nobody. neither of them don't have no job. <laughs> then why is she no, you know, not have no job? <laughs> and the man first child, so him happy. We're going to use and feed the picnic. If I even last came I go buy, I'm not using buy Alaska. <laughs> Seriously, yeah, yeah, not working. Yeah, Maybe he'll too. find a job still. We, we don't know, well, but hopefully, but hopefully, you know, she don't want no more children. If she have, she have the money, she said she'd have done away with it. 
She want to know what she must do. I'm going to have lots of say when we come back. And it's affecting her. Man. Well, it's now 12.02, guys. 11.02, rather. The time is brought Watch to us by Angel. VJ Mr. Printing Yowie. Services. Real Talk is sponsored by <laughs> Native Audio Stage Lighting <laughs> Stick. We soon come back. Take out himself out Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266. Clifford Guest House, sponsor of Metamorphosis on Monday nights from 9 p.m. to 12 midnight with Dr. Iman Black. Located at 15 Queen Street, Port Antonio, that's Ditchfield Hill, they offer accommodations for up to one month. Call them at 285-0610 for more information. Party people, are you ready? Stars 96 FM and DJ4, the illest present Detour. This and every Saturday night, 8 p.m. to midnight. Tune in for the best mixes, the better mixing, and nothing but vibes. Ladies, 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 it wouldn't be a party without the ladies. Ladies special detour hour, 11 p.m. to 12 midnight. That's the Saturday night detour. Stars 96 FM with the illest DJ4. 8 p.m. to 12 midnight. You just gotta tune in. The Entertainment Edge on the cutting edge of entertainment. Every Saturday, 12 noon on Smooth Sailing. If your program is not on the edge, then it's not on the cutting edge of entertainment. News, reviews, interviews, it's songs, and so much more. The Entertainment Edge, telling you all about entertainment on Styles FM with your host, Shelly Watson. Hey, it's Entertainment Edge on the cutting edge of entertainment. Entertainment. Babes, just follow me now. Right over there, sir. Through that hole there. But babes, be curious if you go in. The place too dark. Just right over there, sir. Right over where the hole there. Aye, chum man. All mosquitoes bite me. Babes, me no like. Come on, them places after dark, you know. So wait. Are they like a bat, them afraid of? Chum man, we almost reach. And them something that me care about that with you, know. That's why we make sure we walk with all the Bible. You think they're going to make rolling calf reach me like last year? But kiss me brown fall. How them people are? How them places are so crowded? How when they... Fan Fusion Episode 5, Tipsy Islands, Saturday, July 7th, starting at 7 p.m. sharp at the Bayview Waterfront property, Oysters Bay, Port Antonio. Be there. Who said that woman can't done? Can. And them said the woman don't come to done. Native Audio and Equipment Rental Services now offering stage lighting and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, play, wedding, street party, or even club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio and Equipment Rental Services, proud sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome back to Real Talk. And of course, we're going to read back the letter for you before we go into the additional discussion. <laughs> yes. So, um, yes. Thanks, Cassidy. So she's 30, right? She just feel like say, some people bad luck a beat her bad because, you know, she's had a rough life. You know, got put out when she was 15 and pregnant. Um, has five kids, lost two. And because of abuse, why she lost it, you know, she has gone through all the abuse that you can think of. She has had it, you know, being from men. She decided that she was going to go into a church, seeing that, you know, she wasn't having any luck being a, a worldly and kind of a person. Met a man out of town, probably thought that she's not going to do so well with all the men around where she's from. So she decided, decided to try somebody from out of town and despite using protection, something go on. Man first child, him happy and wants it. She don't want anymore. Mm -hmm. And if she could afford it, she would do away with it. So right now she's at that place where... Because when you go when you catch a people, you know, you, know you, you can never ever feel comfortable if, if, if you yeah. catch it. I cannot. And I tell people like... 
Mommy, don't feel no way, you're my mother. But me love me one space in up here. <laughs> and me tell people, if you see me, don't think I don't know where my half go. Because some people assume that because you rent, you pay rent for where you live, they assume say you don't come from nowhere. And you don't have nowhere to go. Because people can be like that. But me just like my own space. So I can just imagine how she feels in somebody's space. I mean, if I mean, I forgot what my mother yard I'm going to be like. She's going to be like, so Shelly, where are you going? I <laughs> 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 you know she's there. I mean, I have to tell her, I say, um, all right, miss, come back or something. But I live on my own business or whatever. So to be cut you, can understand. Because when you're not working out here, you can't pay your own bills. Oh, true. You know, true. You're, you're, you're and people tend, to, people tend to want to do anything with you yes. when you are depending yes. on them. Yes. Whether subconsciously or yes. consciously. Or consciously. Yeah. It's like they feel that because you're depending on them, mm -hmm. then you can just imagine what. Mm -hmm. So I can just imagine what she's feeling. You know, and some people. Some people don't have your personality or mine. I would say you, you have a strong personality, an independent woman, intelligent, and everything good. So a man would probably take a double take if, he, if he's going to step to you because he knows that you can't just come. But some, some people are naive. Mm -hmm. Some people are soft in their personality, meaning they're defensive because they, they didn't get the molding from they were younger. You, they don't have this, this, this anything to defend themselves from these creatures out there <laughs> called <laughs> men. Yeah, let me, you see, when a man know that you have brothers or you have a father, they look at our uncles. When they know that you have males in your family, they don't step to you that easy mm -hmm. because they know that if a, if a player with her, somebody are going to defend her. So this girl, she just left out in the wilderness because be th I cannot fathom being 30 mm. with and, and had seven pregnancies. Me can't think about that. Mm -mm. I can't think of having five children. Uh, I, my uh, mind cannot wrap around having five kids, Cleo. I'm, my mind can't wrap around the one. Let me, um. me tell you, I can't think of having five kids. Because I tell you, no, if you oh, see me around up and down on Port Antonio Road right now, you don't ask no question. If you see Shelly naked around up and down on Port Antonio Road, <laughs> gone, me gone. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah. probably do something I see two lying in it, I would go crazy. Oh, gosh. I mean, you want to think I'm in a position where if, if me have one child and Pitney would have suffered, but you know? Yeah. I cannot <laughs> think five Pitney. It's difficult. You don't work. You have two. The man not work. You don't know he, when he's going to get a job. Mm. And I'm first, so she probably I contemplate and I say, boy, she know what I do with it. But clear, me tell, me tell sometime, you know. Oh, Why she tell him? Me wouldn't tell him. <laughs> no, me not tell him until <laughs> me make up my mind what me going to do. What you going to do? Oh, and not Lord. that I am supporting yeah. doing away with it. But there are circumstances where it is better sometimes to get rid of it than for bring the, the picnic come so far. God. You yeah, understand what I mean when I say that. But, but, but it's, it's, it's hard for her to be... Uh, at the point that she's at now, it's like it's, it has reached a stage where it cannot be terminated. It Why? would seem. Because uh, she said if no, she had the money... But if she, she would have... Yeah, she if said she if she had, had the money, money she, she would have would gotten rid of it. So probably rid of it. She's so I don't know. Maybe in it's her still first still trimester, yeah, so maybe. she probably would. I'm not encouraging her to do that, but sometimes when you think about it, she can't have it and give it up for adoption because the father yeah. got vex. Yeah. And he wants it. And uh, from the fact that he wants, it's his first child and he's happy about it. I'm thinking he deliberately. Look, okay, I may say the woman, they must burst burn. the condom. Buy your own, apply it, check Pinch it when it's done. Pinch leave an inch and roll. When it's done, say, babes, let me dash you that feel. Yeah. And you go check it and make sure, say, when you pull it down, so, so it's not, not spewing yes, out. Because you can't trust them. And that's the thing, you know, the women, women oftentimes. Leave it all yeah, up to the yeah, man. man. You just them got dispose of it and do everything and so and sure. and. And if I don't uh, uh, send it in a clear. And if I don't, but, but you know <laughs> something. To be honest, let me think, let me tell you a thing now. What happened to me? Mm -hmm. Where I remember when I was in a situation where I needed to get the protection, the condom. Mm -hmm. And I would have never, ever, ever. I remember those days when I would have you never, have ever. No. And listen, looking at this now, I'm seeing here where probably she is one of those persons who probably didn't even have any. Yeah. And would have allowed the man to be the one, you know, to say, okay, I'm not ready for a child, you know. So she leave it all up Why to him. Why she never go buy a man so. enough to pill? Because she yeah. expect the man to get her pregnant. Yeah, but clear once you realize there's something. What, what? She never knows there's something going on. Mm -hmm. She knows there's a number. No, she never know. She can't know. But when she find out, 
How she not find out? She boy, can't know for sure. I don't think she knew. Know. Once me meet Are the man, I realize, boy, me not know. I buy two, one pack of pill or something and start taking it, even if I know the date for taking it. But try something because it's sweet or <laughs> yeah. too much. Sweeter. She too dry. You, you know, know she did too toasty. That toast is something there. You know, so she just seriously. Because, what she got to do? Because wow. what she got to tell the cousin? You look by the side of it? Yeah, because she had two in there already with, her, with, with the cousin. She living with two. Unless me hope that the man have somewhere where she can move in with him. Why well, me don't want to think so? <laughs> because <laughs> me not think me want to go down that thinking me road. Me said the relative no want no more of them there. No more of them. If she, even, if she even don't want those, then probably she's even open that door three with leave. Yeah, yeah but get find somewhere. She might not tell them that, you know. I'll take care of you. One, one, there's something when me buy with the wives. Yes, I told them that. I can imagine you're gonna want many of those. Oh, not to mention the newborn God. diapers. Yes, and feed. And, and feed. And Cause breast milk alone will not do it. She can't go to. She can't get a job now because nobody's gonna imply, um, employ her, her being with, pregnant. Be, be Unless she was working there before, but to go in pregnant, you know. Because remember, she she's at the place where she's still gonna have effect from it, right? Uh, so so she can't go and look a job. But you know, I'm thinking, she had a rough life. She said. Yeah, I've had a rough life. The mother putting her out on all these things and all kinds of abuse you can think of. She has gone through it. Been there, done that. Never had a stable life in home in the longest while. And I'm just wondering, she's losing the job and everything, catching up with relatives. Good God. Why are you going to find an out of town man when now work? Because she's tired of the man them around town. So get one way at work, no, my love. <laughs> get one way at <of> work. <laughs> Not to say but that, Marcio. Probably promise her that I get a job. I Mark, use job seeking. But then, and get somebody to win on a picnic. Because you well, know so you have out your lot uh, then. And you don't want right. no more. Exactly. So, yeah. so get a man now who probably all of the next, next five too. Yeah. Where, <laughs> where five, five big pitney. Five big pitney, yes, please. <laughs> the last one probably a finish high school. Yeah. So, you know. Find a man, darling. Who, you know, I mean, hypothetically, yeah. The choices gone we bad. make. The choices we make. Tell you. Find a man that has some bigger children then. When, when, tell you, say, yo, my girl, straight up, you know. Me no want no you because he said, if no want no you, yeah, man, he might do everything man. in yeah, him power to make sure say no baby no come in, no, no 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 sperm no reach no egg you know that you know yeah. that you know that um over it you understand so he might make sure him do everything so she will be pretty much on the somewhat safer side then yeah some men to still yeah. want to pick me but it suit them so much that them do a thing but the condom mm -hmm. Providing condom is okay and not you know, bursting no one on a deliberate cutting no one. Unless... They'll be fine. They'll be fine. <laughs> you know, but I mean, no. She makes Unless... some really wrong move for you. Call her on the 954. Good Hello? night. Hey, Cleo. Yes, Cleo. Dans. Yeah. Hey, when I try to, when I try to make this one feel bad. She feel bad already, no. my love. We can't do nothing more to that. We can't, I mean, it can't get no worse. Yeah, she feel bad already, but no, but... So like so like I need more more pressure up on her head, you know. You shouldn't even get a wake up call differently. Yeah, but listen, they ask can't you get there really. No no You want to adopt the baby? Eh? Huh? You yeah. want to adopt the baby, we can arrange for mm -hmm. it, you know. Well, we talk about that later. Adopt she and the baby. <laughs> so your wife can know if it do with you by your ears. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> but but you hear what now. She 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 she, she, she come up out how she will chart her way in the future. Yes. What would um, you suggest? Obviously, where she catch now mm -hmm. is probably not going to be um, catchable. <laughs> in six, For very long. Six months down, down the road. Yeah. <laughs> I like that word. Yeah. <laughs> so. So, so, she, so she needs to for sure a home boy in all the situation and say, look, yes, I have to catch with, with my cousin here, dude, so we have to find somewhere. If I, if I, if I, if I, if I go capture somewhere, <laughs> capture that or something, you know, but, but most importantly, she should, she should not think, say, look, she should not think about terminating because you never know if this is the one even if the other, even if the other five, the other five might, 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 might be your, 
your pension plan later yeah. on, but you don't know how this one's going to turn out. Stop this, so. Who tell us you're your pension, Dan Dan? What happened to know? These you, you never know. No, 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 no. I'm not, not even, even going to... Hold on, hold on. Exactly. I'm not going to leave hold it to you. You never know. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh-uh. She not have no... She don't admit that she not have nothing to go and see her, you know. <laughs> nothing is going right for her. So, what what her option right now is, is, is to be the best possible father she, mother she can be. Are you serious? And, uh, you know, and, and see, see, see where the chips, the chips fall. So, you know, are you it saying... It might sound crude to talk about pension. Yeah, it is. It's not reality. realistic. It's a gamble, everlasting gamble. Say what? It's a, a big gamble. To, to do what? Have a child as, an, as a pension plan. Well, look, life is a gamble. We, we yeah, we so don't what I'm know saying, and this out. is a bigger gamble than life, for sure, yo. Because when these kids get big, you know, the average kid, you know, they don't remember nothing about yeah. the sacrifices parents make for them, you know. Yeah, but we don't know that. We don't, we don't, we don't know that. We one way, leave, one way or the other. We can't leave it to chance. That's exactly, can't that's have, my point. We can't leave it to chance. Many parents make. make. To say, we, oh, we, when we I get older, up, yes. my child will look after me because I did this for right, them. Right. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. No, no, no. You're not, you're not, you're not going to be the best mother that you can be um, with, the, with, the, with, the, with the caveat in mind that yeah, I'll look after her. No, what for she can't look after me. I am just saying. Mm-hmm. I am just saying. You you never know what's going to happen in the future. So you must be, or she must be the best mother that she that, that, that she can be. Um, knowing that the circumstances are, that she finds herself in. Yes, but, but, but no, then, you know, reality, you it, know. It, it, yes. Huh? Being the best mother you can be. Comes with yeah. being the best person you can first be. For, you can be first. Yes. And if at okay. this state so that best... she's in, she needs counseling. She needs um she help. Needs everything. Yep. She needs everything. How can she be the best mother she can be given her psychological okay. state where, at the moment? Where is where is she gonna get help from? Where, where is well, my help my help coming from from where from the ills? Well, look. Here. She well, look needs here. to first well Jan- go to the church. This church that she's going to, her pastor, yes. and yes. I think she probably should also um, think of giving up this child for adoption. She can't give the man child. Yeah, the, the, the church is one answer because the, the, the church is for, um, it isn't for a church like that. The church, the church should be able to get, can afford no. to spend some charitable. Um, no, no, must. You have some poor, poor church, my love. <laughs> well, look here, church. I, I believe that a church, well, many no churches operate, but but churches should be operating um, as a as a charitable organization to help out its its members. Yes, because the church is like a club, you know. It's like a club. <laughs> okay. So you, you you got you got to help out your members when when they're on on um in in difficult situations. True, true, true. Mm-hmm. But the home, but but she and the home boy, I know, you know. <laughs> All right, she said she's a home boy, home, home boy want, want, want the child. But in outer that too, so, stick up in, stick up in. <laughs> in outer that ring come bright too. How oh dare him go burst condom from the woman? Without the woman no, knowledge. Well, well, Violation, you know? But it's not like you want to imply some conspiracy theory. Yeah. Yeah. Oi, look here. Yes, the, the, woman say, the woman say, the woman say, the man happy. Yes. She never want no more picnic. And she don't know yeah, how so, come. In other words, how come? How come? Yeah, so, so, she so, used so, condom. So what, what, how why, the condom get fit? Why are you assuming fit? that is something burst? Look here. No, 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 no. Hold on, Dan, Dan. We're not idiot. Hold on. We're not new to this. Hold no, no. on. Hold on. No, why are you assuming that? Oh, that Dan, Dan. That's a, that's a deliberate act. Me Hold on, Dan, Dan. Mm. No. When condom burst, mm-hmm. woman have a feel the condom burst. A man, mm-hmm. I go feel the condom burst. So Especially, some, mm-hmm. some, yeah, yeah. some communication know. going go and say, yo, baby, the condom burst, you know, and whatever, whatever, whatever. She know, would I know, say, I forgot to get the morning after something, something then because me don't want no more children no, no, well, and so on no, and no, so no, forth. No, no, no. But she, she never know, she don't know how she get pregnant. And this man no, happy. Man. I embarrassed the condom. <laughs> Me agree. No, embarrassed no. the condom. Stop coming for the youth. 
And, she, and you know, that, that is probably the first thing from my mind, is, is, is ecstasy is a part of my mind. Ecstasy, so you, 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 yes. Me agree, so she not so yeah, ecsta- yeah. ecstatic state, yeah, because a long yeah. time she not get nothing, yeah. And she rusty and toasty. <laughs> but, me I say, this man I want a youth. And maybe oh, this okay. girl is the girl in pizza going must be the right one to give him the youth. Nah. So I'm going to burst the condom with the needle and the pin. I think it, I think, I think, I think it, it's right for jump to the conclusion. Yes. Hey, but you want to say the woman, they toast you and, and they and they iron dry and, no, and ecstasy but, reach her door. Oh you didn't want to say that though. But, that, but, but, that's, but that's by her admission. She says so. She never said about ecstasy. She didn't, she didn't, she didn't because the man, huh? man could have even been a, 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 bad, a bad experience. Yes. He could have been of no good. She didn't but say anything about Maybe he had no granana. Exactly. She only said. On. She only what, said. Hold on. Say, oh no. No, hold well, on. You're regressing. You're regressing. Yeah. What, what, eh? what, what would have happened a couple of months ago? You're regressing. Hold on, Dan Dan. Dan Dan. Hold on. Dan Dan. Dan Dan say, yeah. Hold on. Dan Dan. The woman said yes. she was, what's the word she used? She was thirst. That th- thirsty she used? Yes, she said she was thirsty. Yeah. Being thirsty, Dan Dan, is one thing. Being yes. in ecstasy after the experience yeah. or during the experience is a whole different kettle of fish, my love. So, there's nowhere in there that the woman stated that, oh my God, I was so thirsty and this man gave me a granana that made me see the stars yeah, in the no, daytime. But, but, yeah, but, yeah but, she never why, said that. Why, why, why would she need to be that graphic? No, she doesn't need to be that graphic. No. Look here, usually when a woman enjoys something, she would find some exactly. place to squeeze, no, on, squeeze it in. Come no, on, man. No, no, no. The fact that the fact that she was not graphic pretend to that shows that she she has some class. What she graphic? Work with her. What what was the graphic? Being thirsty? <laughs> then massa, that not graphic, my love. Because you thirsty no, sometimes, me no, thirsty sometimes, Shelly thirsty sometimes, Cassidy yeah. thirsty no, all the time, <laughs> Daddy Rude thirstier no, no. all the time. We are, so, we are unnecessarily heaping more pressure upon the, upon the, upon the lady right now. Yeah, she just the lady don't need that. We, 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 we're going to get to the point where we went to right. what to do, you know. What, we're going to get to the point what, what the, where I say is, yeah. we trash out her, we trash out her wrong move them first. The truth is the truth, right? It's real talk. We're not what just what up everything. We're not pretty tough here, I'm sorry. Sorry. Yes. What? No, no. What the woman need? The, the woman need, what is she to do going forward? All right, the church so is we're going to tell, tell her. her. We're going to tell her. We're going to tell her. We're going to go to check the church, we're, we're, talk to pastor. We're going to tell her. Pastor and deacon and elder and the sisters and so, and see how she can get some look, assistance. Yeah, but look here. The fact that the, the, fact that, the, fact that the, um, the guy is willing, is seen ecstatic about his new addition in you his have, life. You come up already again? That's a, that's a good sign right there. So he work with no that. In on a job. In on a job. In not working. No, we're not going to feed the baby pan leaf. But that, but that's no. He, he, he would have known his respons- respons- responsibility. No. That, oh, no, he no, that, 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 you, that, 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 stop that, it. Stop it. Stop it. No, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Does hold that on, mean hold that, on. hold on, are you saying that because the man I am first child and him seem all excited? You know how much man excited, not even excited, like, or, like excitement. The excitement up, yeah? When the baby come, um, about to come or pregnancy or whatever. <clears throat> and two toes when pressure take them and gamble them business. You didn't know that? Of course, that not know. Are you, are, you, are, you, are you predicting that in this case? We not. We don't know. Just what we said that we don't no, know. Then, then, remember, yeah, Dan Dan. Then, then exactly. You don't know what happened. Dan so, Dan. So what, 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 no, no. Why, but why either the two you? things can no. happen. So if the good one happened, fine. But if the other one happened, to what she gonna do? And she's the one that is carrying In, the child. No, that is well, it. Then, uh, when she have that, no, it, we, we should, she can't we deny should the talk about. Dan Dan. Remember, say him can't walk we away. Sh- she cannot walk away from the child that easy because she has got it. We should talk about what she needs to do to make sure that... Oh, we're um, going to go there, but that doesn't mean we're going to let up on her too easy. Exactly. Because she made some real, real <laughs> bad decisions, knowing her history. Yeah. Of a younger okay. child coming up. Yes, yes. She, so, r- then, 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 how about you just I giving just her... Just give her your number. We, just give us your number <laughs> to give her off the air. <laughs> and we just we can make an arrangement to adopt the child from her. Yeah, man. And, you know, sort her out. All right. Get, uh, a, get, get her number and give me. No, no, I want to number for the year. No, no. Get, get her number. Get her number and give me. 
All right, then, then. <laughs> Thank you. That answer. Uh-uh. Give me a no call. No, 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 run from you. Because no, 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 say, no, no, call her. No, 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 say, hey, no, call her. I don't know. Why? Because we are women. We must just take up for her and, and just forget nah. about the stuff nah. that she shouldn't have done. And I mean, what? sometimes you have to... Uh, call a speed, a speed. Yeah, yeah, it is what it is. Okay. It's real talk. Why are we gonna sugarcoat everything? I, I, we say I think, I think she on the last move, she shouldn't have made the move just because she's thirsty. No, she should have made you the move, know bearing in mind, say, okay, let me analyze what's really happening. Yeah, you get yourself know. a toy in the meantime, honey. If you need it that badly, get yourself a toy. Help yourself. Yeah, so yeah, you won't be and all then you that. analyze the man before you go there because. To take somebody who is not working, we don't know why he's not working. Exactly, and we and don't him know from if here. he's gonna. Yeah, if she don't know nothing about work. him. She don't she even she don't have if I hide him, I don't. Or a lie, I tell her. Yeah, or something. Or like something. That. She don't know. You understand? Why may I tell her? You Few don't know from nowhere. Months, you know. I could have did something that she hears that she have. Yeah, that's a lifetime disease. Exactly. Same way. What's it crazy? I don't know. So, so, don't have me in a butt. So, the few way. months thing, yeah, uh, out of town, man. I don't know. 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 I don't Let's see the rest of the, the, the bottom of that, please. Um, so, she made some wrong moves. and She asked just... me where she must do, Cleo. You tell <laughs> <laughs> I can understand you needing help, but what, up. what must oh, I do? Wow. Woke up within days of meeting. Yeah, within days. She seems promiscuous. I don't so know. She's interesting. All right. You see, um, I forgot, but you see, usually um, people who has been through, like, um, abuse and certain struggles, they tend to, to always want yeah. that, that um, what do I call it now? Always want that person who's going to love them. So they'll search. Search, And if the yeah. person comes on, you know, appears to be giving you everything and where she did Thursday, but maybe she like a try. You know, yeah. I'm not gonna even beat her down for taking a try because some people you do your adult to do what you want for the but right. you know, you have to. I mean, I tell him, you know, Cleo, I would never tell him until I'm sure of what it is I'm going to do. Come in, I'm sorry for no man because he pushed <laughs> up the shove, him not sorry for me, you know. So oh, we can go and come back, boy. right? Yeah, in, yeah. A, in another second or so, let's see what Fitzroy is saying quickly. Good night, my shells and lady Cleo. Nah, if Wonder it's if she is. T- talking about, about the pastor, <laughs> <laughs> you know what? The pastor, baby father, she, and she is a, a third here. party situation. She said the man, you never know. <laughs> never that's, the know. Next, uh, that's the next thing to it. Hi, Fitz. So, good to hear from you. Um, what is this mad, Pepsi mad one saying? Pepsi are Pepsi 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 problem <laughs> solved. Then bring the rest. Go family court, Lord Jesus. You know what? It's now 11.30, people. We are up on our, well, pretty much the last break before the show ends. The time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting. we we'll soon come back. Architects, draftsmen and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266 Rough Cut Studios is a production team from Portland, Jamaica and Munich, Germany You can contact us by email on the scotcher5 at hotmail.de Don't forget to check out my YouTube page Beneman Music Stay up to date Big up Styles FM Remember Styles FM on social media View us on YouTube at Styles FM Radio Follow us on Instagram at StylesFM. Like us on Twitter at StylesFM961. Become a fan on Facebook, StylesFM96.1. 
Are you sick of living an average life and tired of just getting by? Do you want to take your life to the next level? Learn the secrets of the super successful. Listen to Power in a Half Hour with Coach Mark this and every Wednesday night on Styles FM from 9 to 10 p.m. Learn the habits of the super successful and how to make these habits work for you. Learn to turn your dreams and desires into reality. You can win in the game of life. Let Coach Mark show you how every Wednesday night on Styles FM from 9 to 10 p.m. Native Audio and Equipment Rental Services now offering stage lighting and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, play, wedding, street party, or even club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio and Equipment Rental Services, proud sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and Rel Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome back to the final half hour of the show, Real Talk, with uh, Shelly tonight and Cleo, all right? Um, wow, we have a very sad letter. Yeah, man, kind of sad, because one woman is not supposed to go through so much stress and drama and drama and tough drama. Yeah. Oh my, I'm always in there. Do you find that a lot of counseling is not available for persons who have been through, you know, certain things in life? Um, counseling from which aspect? From because the health department or not, you not have You have women's center, center. but um, I think, I think more, public, yeah. more public, more um, um, public, public needs to be more aware. Like you should have, just as, as though you have GIS being played every day mm. at different times of the day. You should have these announcements that let women know that, hey, this hotline is available or this place is available. Every community should have yeah, something some, available yeah. because people do need help. And when it's um, abuse at a young age, it, they, um, women and our, our men, they tend to actually uh, lean towards certain kind of people who keeps on treating them a certain kind of mm -hmm. way. And they never seem to be able to break the cycle. You understand? So we can look at it from one end and say, yes, she made a mistake, but her making bad choices just keep coming from the fact that she has never gotten any help for yeah, whatever it any, is. Because right. people Advice just think that church it. alone can stop like you're going past. Sometimes you go to church and when pastor don't preach, you feel worse than oh, you step in there. Because they make you feel guilty like, hey, you're not a human being. And I can tell you, a lot of people come out of church depressed. You feel you, you go there to feel uplifted and to know that hey things will can get better no matter what you have done or how bad you have been. Unfortunately, but, that's the know. case for some people. Hopefully, so she's not gonna need counselling. So she yes. she should have she have to find a woman centre if it's even to find a counsellor. Right. You know, and talk to somebody about where whatever is coming from and make a wholesome because decision. Because it's not just about putting a bandage on the present wound. You have to go deeper, the psychological aspect yes, of it, and yes, you know, healing emotional, comes from yeah, healing you know, comes from because, it. And we have to realize that when a woman is pregnant, I think that the child takes the energy. Of course, if you're miserable, you're gonna have a miserable child who don't sleep. If you're at droopy, night and yeah, and yeah, the child comes droopy. So if, if you read a lot, you find you have an intelligent child. If you sing, listen to me, whatever you yeah. do, the child tend to take that, some those of traits. So, yeah, definitely. Yeah, so you can imagine yeah. if she's stressed, her definitely. pregnancy is gonna be stressful. Definitely. And then, you know, you don't know what's gonna come out of that. And some people. And tend that to could also cause to, um cause a child to be born with deformities yeah, and yep. mental yeah, issues because you know? she's stressed she might not take care of herself as she right should she should so this man who jump in for joy and rejoicing even he if he gets a job know. and sort out yeah, that, that you know help you know, to sort her it's out. something not even so much about the work you have to be supportive yeah. of the female mentally because it, it rough it hard mm. you no know, it's, it's really really hard any woman who has seen another woman have a child or have one of her own who have known that it's not an easy road can't be an easy know? road at all all right remember the phone lines are open guys um local number is four five three one triple four and the overseas number is nine five four three three eight seven nine seven three all right, let's see what the WhatsApp messages are saying. Yes, Karma, we are still on. Thanks for tuning in. All right, this one, 2091 says, Good night, ladies. Good night to you, my darling. What I want to say to this lady is this. Talk to your baby father about getting a job since he is the one who is happy about getting a child. 
mistakes are there to be made. So it's up to you to make some smart moves. Having children, having children is a great thing. You need to be a woman now. Get up and do what is expected of a young woman. Be independent, not dependent. Their path there. Their path for kids go to the near. Nearest. Oh, there's path, I guess. Yes. For the kids. Path program. Path yeah. program, right? Go to the nearest Salvation Army. Talk to them about a house lady. Be a woman. No one is going to help you if you do not help yourself. Well, and of course, she I think. Didn't say she was on path. Self, <laughs> self help is important. Wait, the fact yeah. that she not have anything at all, my love. Path yeah. is enough <laughs> for, for the starter, if you know what I mean. Karee. Hi, Karee Roper in Canada. Good to see you, girl. Good to see you. Y'all look fat already. Last time I saw you, you were slim. She should have drink. She... <laughs> I like it. She should have drink she water or the water for quench her thirst. 30 with five kids and still left. Still go lay down. Go lay down. Get one more. No, sir. Prioritize, man. Prioritize. Quiet so career. 30 with 5. You know, just a down for me, though. Just really a down for me, so she's 30 with 5. And if she never lose 2, she should have been 7. So I would have really eat her supper. All right. Uh, let's see. But Daddy would make a good point in a clear. Yes, she can bring the rest of baby father. Them go, go have quit. Yes, to get maintenance. <laughs> sure. But not for maintenance in that one year. Oh, you know, boy. But taking the two that she has, <coughs> you know, go. Richard. Hey, Richard. How are you? Bless up on the night. Ladies, thank you, sir. Bless up yourself as well. <laughs> Shelly's still waiting on my date. <laughs> I won't be listening to your program much anymore. I'm surely going to miss it. But whenever I work on, on Friday, Friday night, night again in the future, I'm sure I'll be okay. doing Or whenever he works. Yeah, on a Friday Aww. night. So, hey, Richard, but it depends keep on where you are. It's on that work I can listen. Five Richard? star. Keep up, the, keep up the good work. Yeah. Only at work you can listen, Richard. Mm. What about the app on your phone? Yeah, there are different ways to listen. And if listen. you're not working, you're at home. You have more time, can listen. Go no? on Facebook or go and watch yeah. it on YouTube. We're going to miss you. We're going to call her on the 453. Good night, caller. Hello. Hello, good night. Hi, how are you? Fine, this is King Shine speaking. Ten of us. King Shine? Okay. Yeah. Shine on, honey, shine on. Let me hear your question or your comment. Yeah, I just want to leave you all up before you go, you know? Yes, thank you. Yes, I'm, I'm Cassidy. All you. right. I'm general. Love, it, love, and respect. All okay. right, sir. Same to you. Thank you. Okay, have a good night. You too, my darling. Thanks. Oh, nice. Just to say hi, huh? Oh, yeah. And to give a big up to the ladies. Daddy would never get that yet, I uh. bet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's see who else is you up know, there. You know, for Richard to be listening is what time now over there, so. In the UK? Mm -hmm. Oh, is uh, next morning. Yeah, it's about It's what, about six, 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 yeah, six to six. Yeah, somewhere there. To six o'clock. So pick up yourself, Richard, every single time from top to bottom and... In good, in good no bottom. From left to right and not to south, yeah? <laughs> that it would got them all messed yeah. up up here, so you yeah. know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Homophobia. Killing everybody. All right, let's see. And him typing. What am typing, boy? He's not going to be in bed yet. The one you and me are talking, you know. Um, let's see. Off his sleep at 5.30. We're England now. I'll be, oh. I'll be sleeping. Okay. Oh, so, when he's not working, he was sleeping. Okay. You can go watch it on YouTube, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can see it on YouTube. All right. Brr. Yeah, yeah, they know. Me tell you, you know. <laughs> what do you think said that? Uh, that would. Okay. Oh, boy. Even he's not here, I'm feeling him and I'm hearing him he in my knows. head. There's something when yeah. he can Okay. Reno says, Bula man says, Shift is send the man, go get a work. There's more to that. <laughs> yeah, he, and I think he should need. To, he would need to understand that he needs to get to work. Yeah. He has a responsibility. Yeah. yeah, you know he has his baby to look after. But sometimes they're <coughs> looking for a job. You can't find anything. So unless they have skills mm -hmm. and can start, probably put the skills to work. And the you young know? lady know for true too. Even if she no have 
I don't know what skills she has. She needs to consider going into the heart academy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, when name? Bulaman, where are you located? Because if tell me where you're located and I'll answer your questions. All right? Your question about the ticket. All right. Um, hmm. Let's see what the other messages are saying anymore. We have there. Um, we have people still typing yeah. in. And, um, well, the man, I, I was about to say that the man needs to know that he needs to find a job. Some, sometimes, this is clear, people think, like, people will tell you solutions. Oh, do this, do that. And I can tell people, you see, mental health, not everybody is strong. Oh, God. We have to realize that persons are made up differently. And I'm going to feel sorry for this woman because I have known and I still know of women, I know of men, I know of people who, because of being abused at a young age, meaning your mother seemed not to love you, your father did run with God and left your mother so you bear mm -hmm. the brunt of your mother's anger and you go up unstable, your mm -hmm. mental state just no right. So they always make bad decisions. And yeah. we can't say, oh, Oh, you for do that and you for that. People are different. Me and you, we walk going down the road and we see one car like down somebody and you lose your mind, but me good, right? Mm. My man will left me and me all right. And guess what? It just lick your physics that you never be yourself again because hey, people hey, hey, are different. Go back, go back, go back. No, go no back. not lady, really clear. Uh, okay, just as what it is. I say you, but never said that. My point. Because you say. Because you say, me nah, me can lick my physics in on me. No, uh -uh. no, you understand? So people yes. react to life's experiences differently. And she's been hurt over and over and over again. Any little nice treatment from a man are going to make she, she react. Feel you like, know, yeah, like so she's we the world. can't say because we don't know. But, you know. Um, I learned in a course I did some, oh, way back <laughs> from Wapakil Philip when I was in university. And it's humans human psychology, psychology or physiology i think it was psychology psychology psychiatry the physiology mm -hmm. the, the, the course was called physiology i think yeah, yeah. Oh. and it's i learned that persons who went through even growing up while growing up went mm -hmm. through some form of abuse similar to what you just said you find that they tend if they were sexually abused mm -hmm. they tend to be promiscuous, to be promiscuous. Yeah. And it's not because they want to no, be, but they think of it as the norm. Yeah, it's, it's what makes them feel better. Yeah, what makes, or makes them, them feel, feel right, good. feel yeah. like appreciated yeah. them. Yeah. So maybe this young girl going through so much abuse back then, she ended up going back to another one because maybe she's thinking, or another man then, she's yeah. thinking that maybe, maybe this one is showing me some love and affection, so let me draw to him because the one before, yeah. the, the father before, Four, didn't yeah. treat me so good. But this person... You know, is is showing me some attention, so let me give it to them. Usually, but that's I, what I happened. I think at some point she realized, you know, and what was happening yeah. with her. But I still think, as we said, the the, the counseling, the professional yeah, assistant, yeah, you know, get, what uh, she, mm -hmm. she definitely needs to steer her on track better. Because she said, well, you know, she don't want to go to any probably anybody else so easy. She want to try her church. Yeah. She want to stay away from men because she's afraid of them and something, something, something. So that's some consciousness going on there. Yeah, yeah but, and, you know. You know, but yeah, she still needs that professional help. And a lot of churches help. don't talk about sex. Oh, you know no. That? Yeah, it's no, taboo. No, 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 no. It's taboo. Uh, um, Reno, uh, something Bula, else to say? Yeah, I'm going to, I am going to, Andy, I'm going to leave some tickets with Andy. All right, so... As soon as the tickets hit Jamaica, I'm going to send some to Andy. And Andy, anybody who wants can actually link Andy for it. And we're trying to line up a, a bus to leave from St. Thomas to Fan Fusion. The bus is not part of Styles. You know, we, I'm just doing it All right, to ensure so people get here. All let, right? Let's see what Carrie says. She's All right. Carrie, the second oh, one, uh, laugh out loud. Nice thing, she can look about the, Oh, uh, nice... Oh, nice seeing you guys. Oh, laugh out loud. Nice seeing you guys. But she can look about she can look about the path program for the kids she has. Food for the poor, housing options are there. They will manage. Yes, Shelly, mental health is a real issue, real talk. Um, mm. you see, if food for the poor, give me one house, clear. I mean, I have no land for put it on. I can't get it. Oh, okay. <laughs> so that's the thing. So you go well, and you get of, food. I don't know, the custom places are rented right. places are, so you know, you owned. Get, you get food. But there are things that you have to do. So if you're going to get the house, you have to get the land. Oh. Right? And then when you get the house, then she can move on from there. But it is something to try. Food it, for the but poor. But if she captures something, um, then we put it on there? 
No, you have to have <laughs> proper documentation oh, for it or somebody okay. have to give you permission to, to put it to there. Put it there. Okay. So that's an option. Um, and but you see, that's another process that she that's gonna take her a while. a while. So in the meantime, she has to make something, you know, somewhere in the middle, where she has to to get some interim solution right now. So that's another part to look at. So we're looking at the long term, yeah, to go to Food for the Poor Salvation Army to get some help. But in the meantime. She's gonna need some real help. Yeah, uh, see how the, she, the women, she can um, get herself. Yeah, she needs reliant, some reliance, self reliance. Yeah. yeah, if she has any skills, she has to yeah. pull on those skills. Right, right, right. No, she can't wait until she starts showing her car money. So she have to just jump on it, get some skill. Help the man look a job since he's excited. And you get one too, and yeah. even if it's um something that doesn't take a lot of skill. While you're at it, you go and get your skills sorted out. You yeah. know, do some so training even, here, yeah, there. From now, yeah, because yeah. you can go train your an adult. And you can start They'll slow, you. yeah. start minimally, and you, you work your way up the ladder, get a better job. And as you, uh, person, so many persons have done it, and you can do it too. You know, so right? sometimes you have these women, you know, you have some women who <laughs> they are with one man and they leave, and the man that they take up is just that they always think that this one that comes along. Is gonna be the one, but, yeah, and, better. You know, and they end up sometimes. Most of the time, these men don't have any kids, and they, they feel like, hey, if you have one picnic for me, one, well, well, somebody can promise me nothing. Oh. And then sometimes, oftentimes, too, the women will tell the previous, the present, the new one, how the, ex the previous one treated her. Yeah, and he gives her the nice sugar coated picture the, of it's gonna be yeah, so different with, with me. me yeah. Yeah, and she buys into it. Uh, I don't want to see what Daddy Rudy is. I don't want to see what Daddy Rudy is texting <laughs> right can't now. Block him. <laughs> like seriously, like block permanently. She need a man. Manager, she need a, a manager, not a shrink. <laughs> she have a man, so oh, probably God. can do something. She have a man. What are you talking about? Oh jeez. I know. He, he said something. Else, that, um, Cassidy, let's see what the rest of what he. Oh jeez, this oh, crazy man, man is saying. Um, he said that earthing is up. I think. He, I think I saw that. Um, do man thing up. That yeah. is her asset. She just now use it wisely. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Manage her, Daddy Rhodes. Yeah. Miss Jackson can deal with your case. Right. <laughs> yeah? Go in, go in the streets and see her and have a little chit chat with her while Miss J is around and you see what's going to happen to you. But, uh, um, said, let's see the. <laughs> said, I know, mommy, we, the um, no, we want female figure too. Yeah. So we give our female number and yeah, that number. Dan, Dan number. Minister Brian from Bosco Bell. I Did guess it's sell? someone being recommended there. All oh, right. yeah. Oh, she can call Minister Brian. Yeah, yes. Listen on some. So, oh, oh, she need a number, some direction uh -huh. for Minister Bell. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Minister Brian, actually. Uh. <clears throat> so this lady needs a whole heap of help. Yeah. Um, she probably can take some baby clothes and something too. T get some or take some? Take some from now. <laughs> <laughs> well, where should you get them from? I don't know, people. She has to let us oh, she has ask, to just ask around and yeah, ask man, her assistant. Ask and please, for God's sake, ask the right people for help. Yeah, you geez, hear? Don't ask thing. people who need help themselves. <laughs> because they will take your help if they can get it. You know. And don't make you know nothing about it. Yeah, yeah they will hide it from you and try to go around, go around you to get to whoever you are probably sharing information um, about with them. So you know, something here about the pastor. To yeah. my Bosco Bell man, and yeah. them tell me, say, if you go down there, you be. And mm -hmm. he, which part that there? And next thing you know, the person you talk to need the help just as bad as you are worse. And gone with them business, gone and get the help for themselves yep. and leave you yep. dry, yep. I and yep. dry. People so, do that. You, you gotta, mm -hmm. and then people too who will just walk and talk your business. They can't help you, you know. But they, but they yeah. wanna hear your story yeah. just so they true. can go and spread That's the, 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 the propaganda and everything on you. You know, one of them kind of people there. No, I didn't tell oh. you. You you need you need to find the right persons who will be able to assist you. Mm -hmm. Not any any old person round the community, any anybody where come and ask your question, Nana. You know you know you don't you don't need that. Find the right people who can give you the right assistance that you need. All right. Um, we go back to the letter for a minute, dear Cassidy. 
any other messages are there? Remember, the phone lines are still open. We have another 10 minutes to go in the show. 4531444. We welcome your call. And 954 Drop us a call right now. Yeah, and share what you think this lady should do. She wants to know, go further down, Cassidy. She wants to know what it is that she is, what must I do? This is affecting me. I need help. The other thing that I think she, I want to tell her to do, um, starting with herself, is to <clears throat> not have any self-pity of such. Yeah. And just to realize that, okay, this is my situation. It's not pretty. It's not cute. It's not the best <laughs> of situations, yeah? I'm in, I'm in, I'm in some deep... Shaving cream, <laughs> but this is my situation. How do I get out of it? Well, in the self pity, that's true, you know, which I think what she's doing yeah, on the bottom she, there. She, no, but she went all the way back to you know remembering everything that yes, went wrong. That went and when wrong she said and that right. she's, I'm just picking up the condemnation, of my life yes, and, no, and the condemnation, happens. right? So she's she like plunged back into yeah. a, a, um, two steps forward, regress. ten back. Standard, regress, so you right. regress. This woman regressed, <laughs> and this you is understand. Regression, and, and. This is regression, yes. So she needs to get herself out of that self pity, know that okay, I made the effort to not get tangled up again but here i am again in a situation where i have a pregnancy i don't want but it is what it is i don't have the money to go and do what i would choose to go and do so if it is that you don't have the money the chances are she's going to have to carry the child mm -hmm. so look at the reality of what you're into yeah the real thing we are in now and tell yourself okay so i'm in a this now it's the most can find one way to get out yeah because clearly, the other instances that she had, the experiences, she, she, she managed. She managed through them. You realize? <laughs> well, she she, 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 she didn't come out. The kids, so. Right. She didn't come out as pure goal yet. But, yeah. but she managed to not have died for one from the abuse. Yeah. The all sorts of abuses that she went through. She's a survivor. Yeah, she's a survivor. Strong. So that's enough to tell us that you have some, some, some amount of resilience there. Yeah. And you're conscious of the fact that you've made the mistakes and you're trying not to continue on the path by, you know, going into your church and so on and all of that. And then the, the, the human nature thing, Carl, no, I wish you had a dildo, my girl, for going to help yourself with and something, but you never are a vibrator. I don't think you had one of those. Somebody could probably give her Dan and probably, probably could give her one of those too. Yes, she need a gift. Yeah, or are you well? Yes. I'm, I'm road. just saying. Start her out now. Yeah, get one of those for her. You know what I'm saying? And like her go on, help herself in the event that she gets thirsty again. <laughs> Which she's gonna get thirsty again, by the way. So Dan Dan and Daddy Roo needs to help this lady to get herself one of those. Out of the toys, so when her, nat her nature calls, she doesn't have to stay too long and too thirsty. She can just say, You know what? I don't need no man from the outer town or around town or in a town or wherever again to come knock me up. You know what? This thing I may have right there, so we can vibrate and do a good job, will not get me pregnant unknowingly. So I'm gonna use this. A gift from Daddy Road and Dan, <laughs> and they're going to kill me. And Dan, Dan. So she could consider that. Yeah? And what, what, we don't want to hear from him. The show's won't finish. I was just wondering <laughs> if you have any to spare. <laughs> no, you have to buy what, what, a brand what new you one. Need for? <laughs> oh, him, oh, him. No, hold on. Oh, Daddy would manage to share one of that. I know oh, you're for one of that. Oh, my God. Bruh. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. Ladies, for your yeah, we know. info is called yeah, Bob. Bob. Yeah. But she operated. She boyfriend. said she just learned that recently. <laughs> oh come on. Cheryl, where have you been living? Yeah, it's Bob all day, think, every day. I think we need to behave ourselves. Father Jacko oh, is looking on. Yes. Hi, Father Jacko. Father Jacko just come from when <laughs> something militant. Him, him, no man, him just come from live band tonight, you know. Oh. Yes, him just come from band, so him. <laughs> when I was at Folly Road, I, I I saw a thing going on. No there. man, uh, right in at the crossroad upstairs, okay. a place there. You know, going tonight. Okay. Oh, can't All right. All right. <laughs> so, of course, Daddy Road will be giving her yeah, a toy. A, a bob. Yeah. A bob. Yeah. And uh, I like the name. Yeah, bob. bob. 
Oh, Bob. Bob, is, Bob comes in and I like you, Bob. Not I feel with Andy, you know, but Bob is Andy, you know. Tasty. Daddy Rude and Dan Dan. <laughs> I think I'm going to get myself a Bob. <laughs> Bob. Oh, Daddy Rudy, that sounds don't sexy, don't no it? <laughs> that sounds sexy, don't it? Bob. Bob. <laughs> <laughs> in his face is like, <laughs> leave me alone. <laughs> you two devils, <laughs> leave me alone. Oh, my God. Oh, my <laughs> number is. Okay, then. And that is the gentleman that, that can help? Yes, apparently. All okay, right. So thank you. So we can jot that down. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Daddy Rude is going to kill me when he sees me. <laughs> Daddy Rude, don't type anything up to us right now, okay? We have no time for you. All right? So she needs to get herself out of the depressed state. It starts with the mind because you have to now free up your mind and tell yourself, my situation is, it is what it is, but... I am going to get out and seek the advice now as to how you can get out. Ask your, print, your former school principal Mookie or is some. Mookie willing candidate. <laughs> Mookie willing? How will you say? I got it. I forgot to talk. I forgot to talk, Mookie. I forgot to talk, Mookie. Stop All spreading right. rumor about Mookie. They are telling me now. <laughs> <laughs> And you know these two are frenemies, right? Yes, me go tell Mookie. So let's go back to the letter for me for the last part. Let me tell her some more as to what she needs to. Oh, she can probably help herself. Um, the affecting me part of it, if you drown and wallow in your sorrows, you're going to forever stay in the state of depression. I remember say I have two pitney. Yeah. Fit live far. Plus, Fit this young off. baby, who you yeah, can't be depressed so. and be giving the child breast milk. <laughs> can't Believe be depressed me. and pregnant. Right. Yeah, so, so. Yeah, yeah, and the pregnancy stage not going to work with the depression. Yeah, and when the, you have the baby, that depression thing with the milk thing, too. Yes, uh, thing now no matter what. you think that you're drowning and there's no way, swim like berries, you know. Once you're, you're in the water, go and pocket your foot, yeah, yeah. you know, and keep your head, up. keep your head yeah, above the yeah. water, and no they, drowning they are, around yeah, you. You're persons. young, you have a long life yeah, ahead of you, pastor. hopefully. Yep, yeah. um. School print, you know, from yeah, a principal. Ask around, ask, ask the right around. person, and you get help from because you have women center on the place. So mm -hmm. Ask man, you get help. Somebody will put um send you in the right direction. Yes, and, and somebody might just be able to say, you know what, I know this young lady who she doesn't yeah. have much skill at the moment, but if you take her on, she'll be willing to learn on the job yeah. and you know do some find housekeeping. Out, yes, so, find something. out if what what um, the baby father find out what he can do and ask around yeah, for a job ask for, around him. for him as well. Yeah, and, for and find out if you can go live with him there. Cause, go, go to yeah. even the, the youth department, the NY, is it the, what's what they call it now? What, NYS? NYS. Arts. You have yeah. arts, trust. Ask how to do a resume. Yeah. Get, 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 get in the know how to get yourself more marketable. I'm hoping she have a skill. Yeah. Because yeah. the first time is that she's probably not feeling so well. Uh -huh. And then, to, to, you know, who's going to probably hire you being pregnant? So being pregnant, Think too. about the skills that you have. Sometimes you can make yourself into an entrepreneur. Entrepreneur, so too, easy. right? So you, know, you wouldn't even believe where you get that energy from to mm -hmm. actually start doing your own business. And when trouble take you, but, trust yeah. me, it's just going to fit you. Plant so kalaloo, raise yeah. some chicken, do something, yeah. you know? Yeah. Any help that you're going to get now. Don't think about using it to do away with, with no, with no mm, pregnancy. With yeah, yeah. Just, just use it as investment and see what you can do. Go plant yep. some tomatoes, something. Find something yeah, to do so that you can turn it over and, and tell the, some tell money. And tell the, the, the relative we are, we are caught with, yeah. who seems to be, based on what she, well, all that she said, yeah. seems to be fairly okay so yeah. far in allowing her to stay. Ask her for help, too. Yes, ask, ask her, her relative. for help. I'm assuming it's a female. Ask your relative for some help. You'll because never know. Because chances are she would be glad to get you the help yeah. she can get for go You'll on, too. You'll never know, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and go on your own and get, you right, know, so. get your firm footing. Yeah, so, so see how best you can ask for help and ask the right people for help. Get yourself out of your drowning situation, your, your sorrowful state of mind. Purify your mind. Start thinking more positively. Encourage your kids to think positively. Depression doesn't help anybody. It kills you faster. You are pregnant. Get the father as best as you can. See how best you can get a job for him. And see what you can do in the meantime yeah, to help go yourself. Go to your part office. Go to your nearest yes. ministry of labor, right? That's where right. you go for it. Go to your health center. Try and find out how you can start getting help, maternal uh, yeah, help, yeah, prenatal, yeah, prenatal help. Prenatal help you know, and so get on. Get yourself some vitamins. Get up and start walking in the mornings. Yeah. Get up and listen to some music. Yep. Something. 
You know, they say when you sing, they say when you sing, you, you automatically endorphins released, you know. Yeah. yeah. Once you play in the music and you start to sing, the yeah. master the mood that you hear. Because, you yeah. know, st- sing there, darling, in the state of depression. Yeah. It's only going to make things really worse. And pray. Yeah. Can't uh, and you can't make a bad situation worse. No. You know, all on your own. Yeah. If somebody else do it for you, that's different. That's different, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you being in the state and doing it for yourself is going to be like double and trouble. You never have a discussion with a man. Talk to your baby father. You never know. He may be willing to do anything. And I hope to he is the heaven sent from. one Lord, that will not say. abandon her and leave oh, her man. with this next child. My girl, make him sign something. <laughs> Meeting <laughs> people, them go in my yard, find out where I live and get every go little out detail. Go out of town, go find where I yes. come from. Get every little detail you can about him. Because if push come to shove, you, you can't go a court, you can't go along a court. I can't carry pinnacle game. Yes. Yeah, you don't must have to keep it. I don't feel no way about it if you have to carry pinnacle left game. I just say go. You have yep. to do what's good yeah. for you. Because yes. at some point, you have to pick up yourself. So and if you can't manage, you just can't manage. Yeah. Maybe it's up maybe, for adoption if he's not willing. You're not up for yeah, maybe his yeah, family, maybe his family will, will be willing to take it too. Who knows? You never but know. get yeah. yourself in the know yeah. because with knowledge, it's power. All right? We have come to the end of the show, guys. It's about two, three minutes past the hour of yeah. 12. On behalf oh. of our engineer, Cassidy, Cassie. who was the only thorn among the beautiful <laughs> roses tonight. Uh. Can I Silent tell you? Assassin. I tell you. Cassidy, we're not answering. No, Cassidy, you're shaking. Yeah, I it, just give you one look. He followed <laughs> Fitzroy's instruction. I didn't say much tonight. I just give you a look. It was a Fitzroy or um, DeVoy's, DeVoy's instruction to not talk much tonight. Um, ladies, uh, let's get one quickly out. It is the government one. provides a one time 30 grand yeah. to start a small business. For example, starting a shop. All right. And some banks probably do that too, I think. Um, so there's help. Pretty much. There's help. Yeah. All right. Uh, thank you guys so much. All you wonderful people out there in Radio Land who yeah. really, really just made our night great. You yeah. always make the show great. And we do it for you. Yeah, for keeping yeah. our company tonight. We thank you so very much for all your text messages, all your WhatsApp messages. Calls. All the calls. Those on our Facebook. Yeah. yeah. Those who Those never called yeah. but listened in. Like Gary, we know you're never out calls. There. <laughs> yeah, Gary. <laughs> never crazy calls. Gary. We can be yourself, <laughs> Gary. Never come. Yeah, but we're brethren. Listen, yeah. We're brethren every single right. time. So. Thanks. And of course, on behalf of um, Shelly and Lady Cleo, we say peace we out. Yes. Until next week, God's willing. Live good. Yes. See you.